Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, Jerry. Dan Newman. <laughs> go sick, go sick. Um, are you ready for some pog card gaming? I am ready to cast a five to seven HP heal on whoever is most likely to be attacked this turn. I'm gonna crocodile eight snipe your back turkey. Holy you, fuck. You um spawn meta gamer. <laughs> Excuse me? What I don't know what you call that meta. Yeah, summons, I guess. Summons, spawn, you spawning summons. You uh I suppose that's true. But I'm not um I'm not spawning them. The game is spawning them. If I was spawning, spawning them, I'm them, playing them the game. Hey, why do they call it spawning when a salmon does that thing? When it goes up the stream? Is that what it is? Well, because that's where it's going to spawn. Spa that's where it's going to come back to life? You that's know, where, that's, that's, that's the safest place for its eggs. For a quick That's frick. why they go up there. Yeah. You ever think about how, like, if salmon just, like, swam down instead, they'd probably be a lot better off? They would get really overweight, though. I think that's mm. why they, 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 they go against, because they got to work off all that. They're on um, that slim fast all the extra. diet? It's like That's beach right, season. Yeah. They know they're going to be... It's like they have a, a wedding photo in four months or something like that. Yeah. Okay, uh, so hear me out. Four marbs. That's hear me one. out. Hear me out. Why don't we make the Peloton of the swimming world? It's um, like a big human-sized aquarium. It's like saying, like, why why don't they just make the whole Tour de France downhill? No, not they. <laughs> Too us. Easy. Us. Us. The whole right. downhill Tour de France, though. Now we're talking. Imagine that. It's all downhill. And like, from the top of Mount Everest. Uh, all the way to heck, yeah. Isn't that just, like, the street luge? <laughs> the street luge. Yeah, pretty luge. much, I guess, yeah. Which is the I scariest think. thing of all time. I think that's got to be illegal, though. I don't know if you're allowed to just luge. Luge well, at your leisure, you know, like you might. What if we start our own country? Is it Aerosmith? You're basically like an ICBM on the road, you know, like you, you have no, you can't control yourself. Let's like, see a BM master. on your chest later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, they don't hit every time, but, but when they hit, oh man. Anyway, um, how are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Yeah, I just, I doing? just broke. I just, uh, I just interrupted your, your conversation. We were talking no. about straight up nothing, anyway. Yeah. Was, no, all right. Okay. That's fine. Literal I don't feel so bad. Wait, Sips, you, you never did get into SAP, did you? Uh, I, I played it a little bit. I didn't get super into it, but I have played it. Why? No, oh, I was just, I was just wondering. It seems like a game you would love to min max with your wikis. Yeah. No, I had all my wikis open for it. That's, <laughs> I, I found it too very simplistic. Oh, I yes. had about 35 wikis open, and I mastered the game within an hour well, playing It's it. certainly not as complex as uh, Soviet Workers uh, Union Republic. No, not much is, to be honest. But unlike uh, Soviet Workers uh, Union Republic, uh, it never got DMCA'd off of <laughs> Steam. <and laughs> it's actually fun. <laughs> is that too, uh, I suppose? Yeah, there's, there's probably that element of it, yeah. I've been playing uh, Victoria 3 a lot recently, ah. which is also... Uh, needlessly complicated and i uh, therefore not overly fun but i can't stop playing it you know it's, it's like uh, i you... like all those really complicated systems <clears throat> for some reason uh, maybe i just you hate myself i don't know probably love damn flashes then right which one damn flashes i'm just waiting sips what? is a season one truther i think have you not seen season two of i think you should leave wait no it's, you've seen season two i've only seen a bit of it actually Okay. I think it's I'll episode it. one too. So sorry, like, I, was I'm bra I was bracing myself. <laughs> I was bracing myself because I didn't know what you were talking about, and I thought you were just going to hit me with like a that damn flash is my nuts or what or something. <laughs> Dan will be flashing his nuts on your some, chest some later. Shit, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Piercing damage plus one. Oh baby, oh, yes. Whoops. Oh, there's other tabs too, huh? How about that? No wonder Sips likes this game. Look at this. It's, it, it, tabs, you open a menu, there's submenus, there's yes. tabs, there's it reset, oh. export, import. What the heck does export, import even do? It sends it out uh, to a who, .csv? Who cares? It sounds amazing. <laughs> Art Vandalay. Art Vandalay, yeah, that's it. No Party wonder you didn't like first. Super Auto Pets. Damage. You just buy a, like a crocodile and that's it. Are you guys still playing Big Ambitions? Yeah. yeah. Sort of, yes. 
but I'm also playing Dredge. Oh yeah, I got that. Is it good? It's 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 fun. I like it. I like it. Um, okay. Yeah, a few peeps had mentioned it, and then Ryan was like, "Mel, if you don't play this, I'm gonna freaking grow my hair out." And I was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> well, oh, you started <laughs> playing it. I didn't get the memo. <laughs> uh, anyways, I, mean, I think Big Ambitions is pretty good, but it's like, I don't know. It needs like some. I feel like such a nihilist when I play it. Because people are like, buy uh, an apartment. And I'm like, why would I buy an apartment? You know, I'm just, I'm sleeping in my office right now. When I wake up, I don't have to walk anywhere. Yeah. My fridge is right there. Then there are people are like, it makes your happiness higher. Yeah, but what is making yeah, my happiness like, higher do? It just, my digital man yeah. is better off? Yeah, I'm the same. My, uh, my apartment, I, I wanted to put the fridge in the hallway by the front door. Because I just want to run back and eat fresh food. <laughs> and then yeah, go yeah. back out and do stuff. And it wouldn't even let me do that. Oh, man. I know. If lightning strikes um, like a cow, mm -hmm. is it like medium rare by the time the damage is done? With the whole cow? Yeah, like, do you, is it like... All the way through. Is it like when you buy a rotisserie chicken at the grocery store? Like, it's, they did all the work for you? Man, I saw this thing on, on Reddit where this guy roast chicken using mirrors and the sun and i don't even like meat but that meat looked really juicy when he there's was no it. way it was dripping it and it was dripping and it was like orange it has like to be was... the foulest tasting meat you've ever had in your entire life i don't know i mean he's it was cooking like a chicken a... in a solar cooker with like aluminum no, foil no, it was like a, it was just like a it was like a stand-up grill outside like uh you know like you know, like the grill that you'd have like in your barbecue. It was like that, but it was a huge square one. And it was standing upright, just like, like on a, you know, like on a, on some risers or whatever. And then he had this huge pulley system <laughs> to like, uh, to angle the mirrors. So like, <laughs> when he would like rotate the mirror array around to the chickens and that the chickens would just be like completely white. It was insane. Uh, but then they would just start like juicing and everything. It was it was nuts. I just I I fundamentally I can't believe that it would taste better than chicken that's just cooked in an oven. Yeah, I don't know, but it lo it looked pretty good though. Like uh, and again, I don't even eat meat, but I I, th I even I thought it looked kind of good. Like it it looked succulent, you know, it looked juicy. It's more natural. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's or, organic heat as yeah. opposed to artificial heat. That's the one. Oh, man. Rich in vitamin D. I muted. I asked Sips if it was marinated and ready out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got there. In, I got there in the end. I got there in the end. I just think it's something, I'm going to be honest, It's I'm not hating on the guy. I think he's got a little too much time on his hands, though. I mean, I think um, you're probably right. There's nothing but, wrong uh, with that in many ways. He's been doing it. Apparently, he's been doing it for like 30 years or whatever. Mm -hmm. And like, uh, that's how, that's, that, that is his, that's the way he earns money. He, oh, he roasts he's like chickens. a, he's a street vendor. Yes. Street vendor. Well, he must be. Yeah, I don't know if he is for sure, but. I would buy the solar cooked um, chicken yeah, off no, the he street, doesn't, probably. He, yeah, he, he he doesn't live in like uh, suburban America and just. Yeah, I thought this was like someone in Sacramento no, no, like, that was. No, no, like... he's like he's from like <laughs> Thailand or something, and that's like that's how he's made money his his whole adult life, from what I. I thought it was going to be like someone with a Food Network show. That's like you've never had chicken until you've had it like this, <laughs> and I would. That's why I was mad. And then, How is that sun so. chicken video four minutes long? Well, I don't know. You don't have to watch the whole thing. It's just, just watch the bit where the sun hits the chicken and it starts dripping. <laughs> is it really like when it cooks done. it within four minutes? I don't know. What if he turns Maybe. the mirrors like on his enemy? Isn't it like a array <laughs> of like eight hundred degree heat <laughs> or something? You gotta be careful if you're going in to like turn the chickens as well, right? Because, I can't like, even what if imagine. Your hair catches on fire or something. You just. Oh, it takes four hours. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like four the hours. That it's, it's 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 sustainable sous vide. Mm. Hey, you know, um, you know how that how Donald Trump is apparently gonna be um, 
uh, arrested or, or whatever off the back of all this stuff. Yeah. You know when he, you know when he, when his lawyers say he will not appear in court with handcuffs. It, that's not how the law works, though, is it? Like, I nope. mean, mm, no, he said if it. I get if I get pulled over or whatever and I go to court, they don't say like, oh, hey, do you want to not wear them? No, just time, say uh, you're allergic. That's oh, like yeah, that's like did. saying like Sips will not appear with shirt in his pants. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm going to for hundred percent every it's time. It's gonna. I bought a uh, I bought a, a, an existing law firm in Big Ambitions, and yes. uh, I'm not even kidding. It had like 90 people working at it. <laughs> So and how do you like within all like them? within three days they all quit because they all had like stupid requirements like what they like wanted a, a stump mesh chair or like uh <laughs> wanted to work that. four days a week and stuff like that work from home <laughs> etc get all benefits that junk, you know <laughs> all those junks yeah so what'd you do with the building sell it no, I just um, I just hired my own low maintenance people, and um, oh man, I should have just used hamstring. Everybody has block. I'm gonna put some block on the healer. Or no, only Sips has block. I mean, and then I'll uh, put that I got on the a healer. Lot of block. Hit the healer. Hit the healer. Oh, sorry, Mel. Ouch. <laughs> my sheep. My sheep. Hey, uh, you guys uh, get up to any twenty forty eight this weekend? <laughs> I did not play um, any 24. I don't think I played a, a video game this weekend, honestly. What the heck? Which one's 2048? It's like the each time you move a tile, or the tiles in a direction, you get like a two tile or a four tile kind of thing. And you keep adding like numbers together. You double them. Oh. Until you get. Yeah, it's like 2048. it's threes, but like. It's easier because literally half of the numbers in the set of numbers that exist on planet Earth make a valid move. No, I didn't do any of that, Mel. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh. I went to the dump like three times, though. Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had to clean out my uh, my daughter's room because, uh, like, uh, we got some new furniture for her a while back. And then we kind of we put the furniture in, but we didn't... Um, really like finish cleaning her room it was just kind of all stacked up like along the sides of her walls and stuff so mm -hmm. this weekend i just had a massive clear out just went to the dump like a million times i want to get one of those uh just the they drop a garbage bin off in your driveway and you just like, oh spend a week man going up. that That's actually yeah. like it's a nightmare to me or let me rephrase to my past self they would be very upset to hear me say how excited i would be to have that happen right now I, I'm maybe doing it this this year because there's like stuff the previous owners left in the garage and shed and whatnot. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to take it to the dump myself. I've yeah. already, well, Kate and I have brought, I'd, I'd say we've made like eight trips to the Salvation Army this year to, to donate clothes and like baby stuff and stuff like that. Yeah. Every time we go, they give me a 20% off coupon. They're like, hey, nice. thanks, thanks so much for your donations. If you want to buy your shit back, it'll only cost you eighty percent of what we're charging you to get it. Like, I'd, if I wanted the stuff, yeah. I would have just kept it. I don't need a coupon to buy the thing that you I just gave like you. A, you could buy a, a previously loved ten-speed bike every week. But I'm buying. I'm ones. dropping the stuff off because we got too much stuff. Could be you a could buy like a slightly used chipped enamel looker set. You say looker? Le Creuset. Oh, Le Creuset. Okay, another, another <laughs> thing that you might consider buying with your discount cards is a whole bunch of uh, ready up, you know? Uh, oh, well, these are tough. You? These are important choices. Dude, that sucks expensive. I just <laughs> wanted to get in there with my own ready up joke. Nice, he normally did it. I'm, I'm so the proud one of you. who has to, to be the victim of the ready up jokes. <laughs> this is really good. It's really good. I'm, I'm okay with that, I think. Got him. X2 sips. That's an X2. <laughs> that was? Oh, nice. Wait, is it 2X or X2? X2. X2. Sorry. Yeah, okay. That's fair. You, you guys want to do a challenge like <sighs> go on a never ending roller coaster and the first one, the, the last one, the puke wins? No. No. Well, I mean, I could do it just because I would be the first one to puke and then I would be free. <laughs> I don't think it would take no. me too long. Yeah, but then you got to eat your puke. I gotta eat my puke in the. Uh, what, so you're asking me if I want to go on Jackass? 
Canadian Dude, jackass. Do you have to eat it raw, or can you fry it up like in a frying pan? You can solar first? flare it, yeah. All right. Solar, <laughs> can you get the mirrors out? <laughs> Sips, you got some garbage in your deck, so I'm going to have you scry, and then you can remove the, the curses that you have at the top. I wonder free. how long it would take to fry up your puke with the uh, solar array. I don't know, like a, an eighth of a second, if it's apparently. It's similar for to a an chicken. Uh, like an egg. It's all liquid, so it's got to be like an hour tops. You just think an hour, you could be. Eating, Depends. Do you uh, want like, like puke over pancake? easy puke or over medium? <laughs> <laughs> uh... I can't help. I know there's people out there that have like contagious nausea. I'm. I get fairly nauseous. But I love seeing people throw up. Like, it's it's really? the funniest thing in the world to me. I remember, like, Kate and I, this is like seven or eight years ago, we were leaving a restaurant in, like, the party district of downtown Vancouver, and there was just a guy sitting on the bench by himself with his head in his hands, and I was like, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> then, like, a second later, he was just like, and threw up, like, right between his shoes. I was like, oh, man. Jeez. So I think it's because I watched so much Jackass growing up that it's like, uh, it's just the funniest thing in the world to me. Is some like pooping? Not really, but throwing up is so funny. Do you remember? I think it was the episode where um, I wasn't on the movie, but I think it was like an outtake thing for the movie, and uh, it was when they were going to poo in the display toilet at the oh, hardware store i hate that one I, that's but one of my favorites they uh, were they were getting they were getting <laughs> like a poop ready in uh in like the van like poop what, ready like, up uh, yeah one of them was getting ready to do the poop in the van and i think he farted so hard that he accidentally shit his pants yeah. but the smell was so overwhelming in the van that like three of them just started puking <laughs> they just couldn't get out of the van fast enough and they were like they had just that fucking look on their face you know like when somebody's just about to puke that, i that, think the worst the worst one of all the jackasses i hate the most is the poop volcano <laughs> oh, you don't need to the new jackass well like the, the one that came out last year it's got some really psychotic bits for like men who are middle aged. I still can't get over the guy Wait, who. Wait, the one there's one that came out last year. Yeah, came out like last Jesus. March. It's on Canadian Netflix now, finally. Because Bam my, is not in it anymore, right? No, he's been he's a persona non grata. He's uh he's like he he fell out with all of them, right? And he's just not in it anymore. He was threatening thought... to sue them for a while. Yeah, which creates some animosity. Wasn't there some stuff recently where he was seen in public, like, screaming at his wife and kid or something, and got arrested for being, for drunken disorder or something like that? I, he's, well, I think that's why he was out. He was, like, so drunk with the jackass guys, like, they couldn't work with him or something. Oh, jeez. That was actually me. It was you. you did. Yeah. <laughs> that was you. I knew it. I was yeah. like, why don't you, do, you're already sitting on the party, why don't you freaking go? <laughs> <laughs> I was spending half of my days sitting, well, mostly my wife is spending half of her days sitting right next to the potty waiting for you to poop. You're already sitting on it. Still funny that Hulk Hogan <laughs> Bam died and tweeted him. <laughs> Did it miss you, brother? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess you could still just miss someone, like, and not think they're dead, you know? It's just like, you haven't seen them in a while. True, true. Hang on, I would love to send out, like, a huge heal this turn. I only have one heal, never mind. Just ray of hope yourself. Why does that sound so, so, like, <laughs> rude? Ray of hope yourself. <laughs> you should ray of hope yourself. Ray of hope. Don't worry, I got him. Oh, oh nice. Betty's got him. The, the tantrum finished him off. Oh, yeah, the tweet did say, wish you were here. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, you could wish someone was there, you know, even if they're not dead. I do like the way that um, Hulk Hogan signs all his tweets the same way like the Delta Airlines customer service does. You know, just so you know, it that was actually Hulk Hogan uh, writing that yeah, one. Yeah, it was a, a specific person, yeah. Nice. Ooh. Performance like bonus, it. good. Well. Poison arrow. <laughs> it's only two energy, two. Mm. Leap slam. 
I got frost, I got fire, I got poison, baby. I'm a man of many elements. Man of many... I'm the mommy. Man of many elements. Mommy. Man of many elements. Mommy. That's not how I would pronounce it, but that's okay. Would you say, like, mom? I would say mom, yeah. Pike? You know, uh, right near where Ryan and I grew up, there's the one, the, 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 the river that was like, that's where you go to catch pike, apparently. He's absolutely right. Yeah, I'm right. Was that, uh, which river was it? Napanee. Avril the Nap li River, yeah. Nap the Napanee River. Napanee River, yeah. Does that one pass through Gananoque? Oh, I don't Belleville? know. Belleville? Does it go through Belleville? Mm. I don't know. I think it's just Does Napanee. it go through Oshawa? Uh, uh, probably no, that's not. even more west, so, yeah. Does it go through Petawawa? I would say it's unlikely. Unlikely. All right, so it's, it's, it's not pretty, a huge river. Well, we're, mean, not it's, talking it's, like the, we're not talking the Mississippi of Dude, Wawa Canada needs here. to get some Wawas in Petawawa. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, insert a Hulk meme. It's like, I was made for this, you know? You know Thank when you. He, they, they're like, who's going to put on the gauntlet? What? Because he can handle the gamma radiation. Remember? And he's like, he's like, I was made for this. And then Thor's like, it has to be me. I'm a god. And then the Hulk is like, no, no. I have like, no oh, idea goodness. what this man is talking about at no, all. I, I, I <laughs> it's the Avengers. I watch so few superhero movies. When they're so. arguing about who's going to put on the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, but what does this have to do with Wawa? Because the Wawa is like the store in the States. But Petawawa is a place in Canada. Yeah, but there's so a place get... in, in Ontario that's just called Wawa. But then what's Petawawa? I don't know. You're the one who brought it up. No, Sips brought it yeah, up. So I'm, so I'm so I was just naming confused. places that I remember in Ontario. And not all of them I've been to either. I don't think I've ever been to Petawawa before. Petawawa is definitely real. The point is... I've been to Gananoque though. Insert Petawawa as Hulk. <laughs> it's like, oh, I was made for this. <laughs> if you don't kill the dude with 3 HP, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. No, but I can apply 14 bleed to the guy. Yeah, right. As, as long as you also hit the dude with 3 HP, I'm, I'm okay with this. All but... right. I, yeah, well, I have to, actually. I got the front monster, right? So. Petawawa is a military town. There you go. Yo, what does yeah, that have to do with anything? Because CFB they should have a Wawa there. It's like they were made They've for this. They've got Wawa there already, okay? They got a CFB. No, they don't have a Wawa. That is, that, I think that is counted. That's in the States. Some, what are no. they saying, man? What are they? Wawa is like a sandwich shop that sells gas, right? Oh no, they're a gas place that has good sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, that doesn't exist. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Jack. No, you're lying. American Yankees, back me up. When was the last time you even went to America, you liar? Like, last week? No, oh, two right. weeks ago? Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, well, you got me man. there, I guess. I got you there. <laughs> man. Wow. Apply crack. I can crack them. <laughs> Apply crack. I think, you've, me, I think you've applied enough crack based on the <laughs> wild <wild> conversation. <laughs> I'm going for more. My tolerance levels are so high. Yeah, they're big in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. See, I know. Things. Why? Yeah, but why are we talking about them? I don't. Because Canada established the default it's reason. The it's like they were made for this. Oh, because man. the Wawa is in the name, so they. Have you ever Have you ever been to one of those Husky diners in Canada before? They have them like, have um, have like not. the Husky gas station. Yes. And sometimes I'm, they have diners attached to them as well. That must be out west. Yeah, it was, yeah. I, uh, the, I think I, I, I went to one, like, I think it was in the Rockies. Like, uh, we were driving from Calgary to Vancouver, and we stopped at one. And uh, it was high up because it was quite misty up there, you know? I love diners. I think we should open yeah. one. I would, yeah. Like, Twin Peaks style. Like, the, like those old, uh, like, the older... Kind of, um, yeah, we could you know. serve like large cups of ready up. Oh, there, I just drank something. Well, what does this have to do with the Hulk? I'm so confused, man. So, you know, in the movie when they're arguing who should, yeah, no, I know, but like it's, but know, why did it come up? Know. Like, what does it because have to do with anything? The Hulk, he was, it's like he was made for it. 
and the Wait. city Petawawa. Use me for what? To wear the gauntlet because it's got the gamma radiation. That's the whole point of why he's Bruce Banner survived the thing because he has this. So un you think he's gonna, use the, he's gonna use the gauntlet on Petawawa to separate the Peta <laughs> from Wawa, and all that's gonna be left uh... over is a gas station with a restaurant that serves. Sure, yeah. Okay, let's go with that. Oh, what what Ooh. do they serve again? It's a convenience store. Oh, okay. Sorry. But they they serve like like Subway sandwich stuff, I think. Kind of. Right. Hoagies. Whew. Wawa is real and it's worse than Sheets. Okay. Sheets is the other one. Sheets. Yeah. They're like convenience stores that sell sandwiches. Do they sell ready up? Do they sell any ready up? I'm thinking of what's good for me and what's good for you guys. Oh, uh, I'm sure you are actually. <laughs> nice. I'm nice going. job, Evelyn. Thank you. I'm going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I was he was made for this. <laughs> I can't go through this conversation again. <laughs> I mean, it's really simple. He was made for it. Petawawa was Napa made for Napa need to uh, Petawawa to they should open a Wawa in Petawawa, but not in Wawa to I didn't know Wawa was an, a an enormous like a uh, Star Road leap to when the Hulk says I was made for this in the Avengers. It was just like a comparison, you know? It's like he was made for the gauntlet. Petawawa was made for a Wawa. I can't believe we were 73 minutes into this. We're on like the fifth beacon. I know. Well, we did a whole little <laughs> mini dungeon as well, right? Yeah, it's true. He's right. Here, let's, let's 67%. Let's try to fix the altar before we... We can do this one. Stones. So I've been watching my favorite show, Married at First Sight, Australia, which has been on uh, recently. <laughs> Can I tell you about this? There, uh, there's a man on the show, and his name is Shannon. Um, he came on to the show, uh, and he has a uh, an ex-partner and, and a kid. But a week before he was due to go on to the show he was still sleeping with his ex-partner oh that's and that's then no when good. he get, when he came on to the show and married a stranger within like minutes he's like i think i still love my ex so they had this huge conversation about how he thinks he's still in love with his ex and then they try to get over it <laughs> Sorry, okay I, listen, I exited, uh, listen, the, I exited the game i exited the game oh my God. well i was trying to figure out how to exit the damn menu and then it was like it was like all progress will be saved and i was like that sounds great can you just join back in i'm gonna, I'm gonna try i hope anyway so they go through this whole thing where he's like i think i'm still in love with my ex but i, I want to give this a go because i need to like uh you know move on with my life or whatever so they're like okay let's give it a go and then there's the they have this task where they where the wait 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 to, like, I, I don't know how long this story is going to go for i think i need you to remake the lobby and then you can tell oh, it when on, we're getting serious? back in you can't just join back in? You you have never had an option to to join and you still don't. And then I don't see your your server in the in the Open server slot. list. Can you just click uh, invite true, him? Man. Can you get a shift tab game. like invite me or something? No, it doesn't it, it doesn't give me the option. Yeah, I think you got to you got to remake the lobby. You exited the game? L I literally I'm I got 17 sub menus deep. And then it was like I hit escape to exit a sub menu and it was like are you sure? And I was like yeah, I'm sure. I can't exit. It won't <laughs> let me. I'm pressing the button. Can you can you exit, Malf? Can you exit uh, what you're doing? Sorry, I'm retweeting memes. Oh, okay. <laughs> exit room? No, no. Just like like are you done with the card? I'm in thing? the I'm in the waiting for players menu. With yeah, you, me you as the master. One out of, th one out of you, three. You're my master. What does it say for you? Waiting for players, one out of three. Uh Waiting for players, and then I see your name and my name, and then open slot. Uh, why, don't, why don't we all I just guess. start from the main menu, and then... How the hell did you guys get to that? I got an Alt F4 out of this I game. I didn't I'm do stuck. Jack Squad, right? <laughs> Quit, and then I'm back here. Okay. I guess I'll just... Re we got to start from this from scratch. I don't know. No, no, it says, it, it says progress will be saved. No, I hope so. <clears throat> Don't I I hate this rhetoric. People are like, um, we need a zoomer for times like this. Zoomer doesn't even know how to use like the command line or the start menu in Windows. What's a zoomer gonna do? 
uh, 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 press the Xbox button and then hit invite the party. Like, they don't know what they're talking about here. Me, Sips, and Mouth, we were playing shit where we had to, like, port forward in 1999. All right, all right. Married on first sight. Australia. All right. Okay. Were you guys paying attention? He... It doesn't matter, actually. The, 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 the best part is coming up, though. So he decides he's gonna make a, he's gonna make a go of it, and they're they're sitting there doing this task. They got to do a task where they have to stare into each other's eyes for five straight minutes. It's like an intimacy task. So they're sitting there staring into each other's eyes, and then when they get to the end of it, the the woman is like, "Oh, that was pretty good. I feel really connected to you." And he says, "You know what? I don't think I'm that attracted to you." <laughs> and, then, and then he says. You know all this shit where, like, I, I thought I was still in love with my ex or whatever? If you'd walked down the aisle and blown me away with your beauty, which you didn't, wow. uh, none of that shit would have happened. <laughs> and this woman is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, oh, wow. Holy, man. It was unbelievable. I could not believe it. Anyway, I thought I would share because it, uh, it was just insane to me. That somebody would uh, would say that to somebody else. No, that is that's definitely crazy. You should watch yeah. some some too hot to handle. You should stop watching it. All of these shows. I really should. Actually. You're the yeah. one who old oh, ninety day fiance. That was like four line, years line. ago. That was oh, four yeah, years right. ago. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, Chad. How do I get out of this menu? Because I can't hit his, oh, oh, there's an exit button. Okay. The exit under the characters. Yeah. It sounds as insane as the new season of Love is Blind. Oh, God. Man, I tried to watch that one time and I just couldn't really get into it. It just, it just didn't do it for me, you know? Love is Blind. You guys ever watch that one? No. no. I, I, know I can't, I can't about, but... stand those shows. I'm so like, Love is Blind, Too Hot to Handle, um, oh. Perfect Match, uh, what was, the the one where they were in the animal costumes i it's oh well it's nice we'll have uh we'll be like pretty much full health yeah these guys must be weak to fire right they are Ryan, very... when your child was like i know she still cries but the she ever go like just like endless like wah wah <laughs> da, da, wah <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> She was making me laugh this weekend. You know, it was one of those classic dad things where we had like a 10 minute walk, but it took us an hour and a half because she didn't want to walk. She would walk like three steps, stop for 10 seconds, then sprint for four seconds, then stop. But I was getting like a little frustrated, but I was keeping my cool. She took her hairband and put it over her eyes like Jordy LaForge and then, <laughs> and then said, follow your the dreams. Class. And I just classic. started, like, she covered her eyes and said, follow your dreams, and I just started laughing. And she, she good, lost man. it. Um, Searing Blast? Searing Blast. Searing Blast! Sims, uh, have you ever gone LARPing? No, never. Would you recommend it? It just seems like I could see you having done it. No, I, I, I could see have. you not having done it, and I could see you having done it. I don't, I don't want to insult you. I never really wanted to go either, actually. What's I feel like it would be fun for like to go just for like an hour or two, but I wouldn't want to like sleep over there and stuff, you know? Why would you want to sleep over a Wawa? Why is this guy talking about Wawa, dude? I I'm losing it. <laughs> but like when you go LARPing, it's like for a weekend, right? And you have to stay in character while you're sleeping and stuff too. Um, do I don't know if you have, have to like stay in less, character while less you're sleeping. Experiences, but... yeah. My, I, they've probably solved this problem. My question about LARPing is like, if somebody is like, oh, I hit you with a magic missile, can't you yeah. just be like, no, you didn't? Well, I mean, <laughs> Sorry, I if you were doing like a Civil War reenactment, somebody could be like, I've just, uh, I've removed all your limbs with an artillery strike, and you can just turn around and be like, no, you haven't. I guess. You know what I mean? Like, but, it applies to anything, really. But isn't that, like, why you join a Civil War reenactment is, like, to be killed and then lay down <laughs> and be like, this is the war was so messed up? Dude, dude, dude. dude. I okay, think so, here's, yeah. Guys, but... here's what we do. We, we join one of the reenactments or the LARPing and we get killed early on, but we, we snuck hot dogs up our sleeves. <laughs> 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 lay there. Yeah, and... If you get hit by artillery, just chuck the hot dogs up in the air and say... No. Pretend no, that they're limbs. Does anyone in chat LARP? Like, uh, 
What's the longest you've ever had to lay down because you got killed by like the first meteor strike or whatever? Have you ever had to sit like just lay down on the grass for like 10 hours straight? Somebody was at the LARPing weekend uh, role playing as Tella from Final yeah. Fantasy 2 and cast Meteo on you and then you had to spend the whole week yeah. pretending you were dead in a ditch because it's so <laughs> devastating. I it can't does imagine. And, it does what, 999 <laughs> damage to you at level 2. I just can't imagine you got to show up for day two and then just lay down again. I'll, I'll find a way. Every artillery shot in a reenactment, and I played a guy who was dying on the inside for one hour. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, good one. That's good. Can you can you just crack? <laughs> no, oh wait. Uh, yeah, the, at the one spot there. I can't Battle believe... Play. Is this actually true? Did they actually change the Twitter logo to, to Doge? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, barbed wire. No, 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 no. God, I would love to have more thorns. I gotta see this for myself. Well, I'm kidding myself. There's no way this works on mobile yet. You know what was great about Twitter this weekend? Is first, uh, April Fools was on Saturday, but because of the, the way that the For You page works, I got April Fools tweets starting on Friday afternoon, served to me all the way through the end of Friday, the entirety of Saturday, and the entirety of Sunday. It was like three days of April Fools all happening uh, at once. And then also um, on April 2nd, when instead of removing tweets, or sorry, check marks for people, they made it so the check mark said they might be subscribed to Twitter Blue. Every single verified person on the planet took a screenshot of what their verified check mark now said and tweeted it, which meant that the algorithm thought I love tweets like that, but the only reason I was reading those tweets is because those were the only tweets that were served to me. So for like 36 hours, it's just scrolling endless. OMG, really? He did this? I can't believe this. This is the same screenshot <laughs> over and over. It's like... It's driving me it's crazy. It's dumb. It's like with the trending stuff, right? Is people like, why is insert thing trending? And they tweet that, and then it just makes it trend even more. And then you just see more people wondering why it's trending. No, I hear you. You know? Yeah, you hear mm, me. My reaction when pegging is trending. What? Denzel Washington covering his heart because he feels uh, he's relieved. Pegging what? was trending? Denzel's pegging? I woke Again? up in a new Bugatti. Watch this. Get marked noob. Okay. Ready? Look at this. I'm gonna just I'm gonna dispel bleed and poison on me. Neither of which I have, but I am stealthy now. now watch <laughs> this. Ready? <laughs> Look at that. God he's good. Right. Was that Malv saying who the whole time, or was that? No, that's no, the game. The, really? The actual owl. Yes. Yeah. It, I, I know it sounded exactly like Malv. What are you talking about? I was about? like, this guy is, he's going crazy today. First the <laughs> Thanos stuff, then the... Look at this, he's doing 35% bonus damage. Dude, that's tight. Good job, Sips. Thanks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good opener. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so fucking confused, man. It's kind of like a, a shit draw, Ooh. honestly. It's kind of like a horrendous draw, but... Ooh. See, that one I could tell. I knew that was Sips. <laughs> okay, I'm going in on number two. Ooh. Six mana, that's crazy. One second, this does 38 to you. Ooh. 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 You got him. Ooh. Amazing. Some of those were coming from inside of the call. <laughs> oh. I've been driven insane. Oh yeah, you're going loco. Now, if your guy has a bomb on him... Oh, no, he's shackled. Never mind. I'm not locked up in here with you. 
fever. Dude. <laughs> it's not from the call. Are you fucking with me? I'm not booing. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I feel like, you ever get high and then you're like, everybody here is making fun of me, even though they're not making fun of you. They're just, like, they're just having a conversation. That's what's happening right now is I'm like, I know you, I trust you and you keep telling me you're not hooing, but then I hear you who and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to leave. Across the obelisk. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta turn on the Discord uh, overlay, like the the Among Us overlay. <laughs> Chat, you're oh my God. you're seeing this stuff, right? <laughs> That's ten damage. Take that to the bank. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Mouth can probably kill him. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, oh deflect into yeah. deflect. Mm, yum, yum. Although, oh, I want that burning shot. I want that one so bad. Well, just like the ones that do like multiple attacks, it's just too much, man. It just goes, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Queen, rent. <laughs> okay, now there was more of a delay on that one than on the previous ones. There was a lot of double who's there. Well, he's near death's door, he's hurting more. We did it. I got. I, I hate that I'm like this. I gotta see this Twitter Doge thing, man. It's just too much. Doge, for some reason, was showing up as the logo for Twitter. Does anyone else see Doge as the Twitter logo? He changed the logo to Doge, but it's not even formatted right. Look at the pixels. <laughs> Come on, man. No, no, no. It's so bad. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's so good. The tweets that just say cutting edge stuff. It's, a, it's the Doge logo. I can't believe it, man. The guy's 57 years old. Anyway. Um, oh, man. Um, let's play the dolls before we play Dretch. Let's play the dolls. What's the, what's the dolls, man? Let me, let me figure out. Because this is really, like, for me, I didn't have to do anything for the first half of the stream here because we were playing across the obelisk. Now I've actually got to be, like, a good streamer. That's hard. Let me pull this out here. What did it normally start with, like, let's start with a tradle today. Holy cow. I, this is, uh, it's impossible. You ever notice the popularity of dulls these days? Um, we're starting immediately with tradle, and I'm, like, I don't know what to say. The total exports of the country is 1.68 million. That's like, it could be like one person <laughs> making, this could be an Etsy shop that makes like bespoke microphones in their garage or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I could not even fathom a guess. Um, I, I genuinely have no idea. I'm going to assume perhaps it's... Um, I, <laughs> Tuvalu, maybe? I, I can't imagine that this is right, but maybe we could guess. It's 934 kilometers southeast of Tuvalu. Is Tahiti a real country, or is that something the Beach Boys made up for the song? I have no idea. There's, all, there's also Vanuatu. There's, um... Isn't there an island that's called, like... Oh, that's New Zealand, Wellington. There's, um... Of course, there's the Solomon Islands... But that's got to have more exports. And then, I mean, I know we're getting further away, but honestly, like in the South Pacific, like my ass has never seen the show on Broadway. So like, I'm, I don't know the exact geography of any of this stuff. Is it Bora Bora? Is that a real place? I feel like I, I, 
I just don't know. Like, is Easter Island, the Christmas Island, Christmas Island, maybe Christmas Island? Oh, we're so that's like in the, it's in the Pacific. It's eight thousand kilometers away in the Pacific. That's a big uh, ocean. I've noticed. No, that must be in the Atlantic. Maybe Christmas. I don't know. <laughs> like, look, you already look dumb. We don't need to make it look any stupider. Um, I always just go with the same stuff. I'm like, it's American Samoa. I know it's not American Samoa, but we might as well at least make a college try here. All right, it's easy. It's just, it's between Tuvalu and American Samoa on the map. That would be, um, I can't even think of another plausible guess that I know would be wrong. That's like how far off we are today. Marshall Islands? I know we already had this one, so it can't be that, but... Today, Wallace and Fatuna? Is this a real country? No disrespect to my viewers from there. My, my point three one viewers from there. Hang on. Wallace and Fatuna. It's a territory, a French island collectivity in the South Pacific between Tuvalu, Tonga, Samoa, and Tokelau. Mata'utu is the capital. Population 15,000. It's just two guys. Wallace makes the microphones and headphones. Wait, it would be better if it was... It's just two guys. Wallace makes the microphones. Fatuna makes the headphones. Mostly ag agriculture. 4% of the population employed by the government. Some fishing. There is a single bank. I mean, that's just a tough guess. I thought it would say something about the headphones, but... I mean, the thing is, like, this is exports, right? This isn't, like, their whole economy. Like, gas turbines, 480,000. I feel like maybe they sold, like, one gas turbine. And then the microphones and headphones, I don't know. But, I mean, $1.86 million in exports for, like, an entire <laughs> territory is, is... I'm not insulting them, I'm just saying it's low. It's, it's a hard one to get. Okay, now, like, let's, let's make it even harder, Okay. Well, this is, it, there's no way it could be as hard as Wallace and Fatuna, but I feel like I should know this, but I, I don't. Is this Turkey? That might not be a smart guess. Let me see. No, not even close. It's 10,000 kilometers east of Turkey. So we're going across the Mediterranean, across the whole Atlantic. Is this like Panama? Holy cow, it's northeast of Panama. 1,500, this, so this would be like in the Caribbean then, maybe. This is, it's certainly not the United States. I don't know what the hell, I don't know the, the South Pacific or the South Atlantic, honestly. So it's, it's not, it's, can this work? It's roughly the same distance away from Panama and Barbados. It's in between Panama and Barbados. <laughs> I need one that's just like Switzerland. Um, give me, uh, give me Dominica, because I know it's not the Dominican Republic. Okay, it's. Uh, could this be Central America instead? And maybe like this is a bit of maybe it's way more north than east. Or is this an island? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe like what's the most. The northernmost country that you would consider to be Central America. Maybe like Belize? It's further away, brother. It's to the east of Belize. Oh, I've only got one more guess. <laughs> it's, it's an island. It's an island. It's an island. It floats on the water. There's land. That's why it's called an island. They were formed from volcanoes, their islands. Um, it's northwest of Barbados, northeast of Panama. I'm just, I have no idea. I'm just going to say Jamaica and, and be stupid. Oh, no, I thought we got it. Haiti! <laughs> I, I was right. It's not the Dominican Republic, but it is directly adjacent when you said Dominican Republic but then you clicked on Dominica yeah I said I'm going to click on Dominica because I know it's not the Dominican Republic 
you can't just uh, you, you got to listen to the entire sentence. You got you can't just listen to the first half and then start typing. Sometimes we, we recently I've graduated to compound sentences. I know a lot of streamers aren't there yet, which means you, there's actually like an implied comma in the middle of the sentence that allows a sentence to have either one relatively complex idea or two separate ideas as delineated by something like an oral pause. Could we do Globla though? Mods, starting right now, asking me to do the dull that we just did, 6,000 second timeout. How long is that? 100 minutes? I'd like to, I'm, I'm, I'm co-signing that myself. I have the executive authority, okay. You didn't do global, my dude? Okay, hang on. Shikikan slash timeout. 600 Shikikan. Beg for your life. Wait, you didn't? Oh, right. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I didn't hit enter. I didn't hit enter. Oh, man. Okay, sorry, non-target, non-target. I didn't hit enter. They're still here. They're still here. Okay, we got the Rotten Tomatoes one up first. <laughs> oh, man. Five-word title, 2001. Liked, relatively well-liked by the audience, not liked by the critics. Too much. It's not too bad. Um, I know it's not this, but let's just let's throw something out there. Pirates of the Caribbean 2, which is probably... Dead Man's Chest. Oh, it must be, it's, it's Too Fast, Too Furious. The Fast and the Furious. It must, because I see fast cars. It must be The Fast and the Furious. That's five words. Okay, that's, that's too easy. But then when it's even slightly harder, I'm like, give me an easy one. Fair enough. When the movie was not made in America, I'm like, what the hell are you trying to do here? I've never even heard of this movie. What is it, French? Parasite? Says Portuguese? Oh, one best picture. Oh, yeah, like I watch all the art house stuff in the Oscars. Okay. Global. This one goes out to Shiki Khan. It's 3,000 kilometers away from Algeria. Let's um, start me off. I'd like, to, I'd like to put myself maybe over here. Give me a Georgia. Let's see if we're on the right path here. It's way closer to Georgia. Okay, that was a very clutch guess. Let's go south of Georgia. Let's go southeast. It's like, I don't know what countries you are. <laughs> so let's go. Oh, no. Wait a minute. There's got, hang on. So we got like, you know, Iran and India. And then there's like a lot of stuff in between. Like maybe Afghanistan. Oh, Afghanistan's adjacent. Give me a Pakistan. Mm, that's cooler. Give me a Tajikistan. Oh, it's not okay. It's 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 this country. Give me an Kurdistan. Did you mean Sudan? Okay. Well, I honestly. I know Sudan is over here, so that's not a good guess. Give me... Like, Kyrgyzstan is, like, up here. Uzbekistan is, like, up... It's... Hang on here. Let me... <laughs> now I'm in trouble. Because I, I... Like, this whole area from, like, west of India to, like, the start of the Arabian Peninsula... It's tough for me. You're realizing I have a lot of weak spaces in my geographical knowledge, for sure. I'm just, let me think for a second. Let me, let me think for a second. It's like, it's like Azerbaijan, other countries. <laughs> I'm, I'm so lost. Um, I'm just gonna, just let me, okay? Iran. Oh, Iran is also adjacent. The hell's going on up here? This I Iraq is like over here, right? Let me listen at this point. Yes, okay, correct. So, like, what the hell are we doing up here? It's like Bangladesh is over here, India, Sri Lanka, 
Bhutan, Nepal. Is this just Russia? Am I am I stupid? <laughs> it's not Russia. <laughs> is it um is it Kazakhstan? That's how do you spell this? Like that? Okay, it's adjacent to the answer. Is it Uzbekistan? Is it um is it Turkmenistan from Dark Tourist? Hey, okay. We <laughs> took us enough uh enough spaces to get there. I mean, 11 guesses doesn't seem like that bad. But it's pretty bad when we were so close with our second one. That one hurts. I know so like I don't know anything about Turkmenistan. I don't know anything about Tajikistan. Um, I'll admit. I do know that isn't Turkmenistan the one that has like um, it's a dictatorship and the capital city has like a 16 lane golden highway that leads to the palace even though there's no cars on it? That is correct. Okay, I'll take that. I've seen that episode of Dark Tourism, or Dark Tourist. 2005, Universal, DreamWorks, DreamWorks, Sony, Warner Brothers. October 21st, 2005, right off the bat, I'm thinking we got a, we got a shark tail in here. That's wrong. Okay, let's learn some more about them. <laughs> Let me see. We, had, we don't have huge grosses in here. Um... And this is not a, th these are two new movies. These are not big opening weekends, but it is October. Let's get some hints, okay? Let's start with, this is an opening weekend. Give me the, give me the tagline. Give me the, give me the actor. Carl Urban as the first actor in 2005. This is Doom. Okay, no one gets out alive. We got 160 points on that one. I can live with that. Now, this is another new movie. It opened up. No tagline for this one. That's a problem. Let me get... Um, this seems animated, so I'm scared. Let me, get, um, let me get the first actor. Kurt Russell. Is this shit like... Um, uh, sky High? Wrong. Let me, get, let me get the second actor. Dakota Fanning. Let me get the third actor, Chris Christopherson. Let me get the director, John Get. Okay, this one you got to reveal all hints. I, I give up on that one. Ben Crane believes that a severely injured racehorse deserves another chance. I don't remember the name of this movie. It's called Dreamer. Okay, that's tough. That's I, There was nothing in there that could have gotten that for me. I think I know like one horse movie and it's called Seabiscuit. That was no shot. Okay, this movie is from DreamWorks. Let's, let's collapse that one. Let's reveal the tagline on this one. Something bunny is going on. <laughs> Please tell me this wasn't the Donnie Darko catch. The Donnie Darko tagline. Donnie just woke up and he can't tell, but he thinks something bunny is going on. Let me get, a, let me get the actor. Peter Salis. <laughs> I'm fucked, dude. We get the second actor, Ray Fiennes. Oh, and Helena Bonham Carter. I'm so I'm. I just. I nothing's coming to mind. Cheese loving eccentric Wallace and his cunning canine. Oh, as well as a Gromit, the or so the Were Rabbit or something. Yeah, I guess I still could have guessed for zero, but. Okay, Sony Pictures, it made $20 million at the box office in its second, as a, a total, as of its second week. Tagline, their past has come back to haunt them. Actor, Tom Welling. Oh, bro, I know this. Um, it's like House of Wax or something like that. No, that's Chad Michael Murray. Actor two, Maggie Grace. <laughs> It's a horror movie. I, could, I mean, that's a gimme, right? Pastors come back to haunt them. And Selma Blair. 
Give me the reveal all hints. I, I don't know this one either. Trapped within an eerie mist. Oh, it's the mist? Nope. The residents of Antonio Bay have become the unwitting victims of a horrifying vengeance. 100 years earlier, a ship carrying lepers was purposely lured into the rocky coastline and sank, drowning all aboard. Now they're back. Long dead mariners who've waited a century for their revenge. This one's called The Fog. Okay, thank you, chat. Not, not the mist. This one's The Fog. This was not a banner weekend at the, at the multiplex. Tagline. All she wanted to do was make a living. Instead, she made history. Can I see if this is a biopic? It's a drama starring Charlize Theron. This is monster. Wrong. Starring Charlize Theron and Frances McDormand. <laughs> I have no idea, dude. A fictionalized account of the first major successful sexual harassment case in the United States. Is this one? There's Dogtown and there's Dog Tooth. And there's Dogtown and the Z Boys. Maybe I don't know this. I give up on this one too. North Country. All right. I mean, this is a tough weekend, man. I'm honestly pretty happy I got, um, I got Doom just from Carl Urban in 2005. But like... The, the rest of these were, were mighty tough. I mean, I'm okay with the 52nd percentile of, like, psychos who would play this game. I thought this was your era. My ass was, like, in... This was my senior year of high school, man. October 22nd, 2005. My ass was probably spending, like, an hour a day trying to gel up my already receding hairline. You give me some shit that came out in the summer of 05 or summer 06, we got a shot. But, like... I mean, October, apparently in 2005, this is where movies went to die, except for Wallace and Gromit. Dude, this, the Bebe shirt is like straight out of the early 2000s. Even though this looks a little bit, this is like a disposable camera 2003. Oh! <laughs> Bebe Finn. Okay, this, we're just, I mean, it's obviously 2000s. I'm not being funny. Is this Elizabeth Warren? Is Elizabeth Warren being interviewed right now at Science World? I'm not being funny. Is this not Elizabeth Warren? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like what to glean from this. A backpack purposely built with only one strap, unless she's going two straps and this one's just like off to the side. That might just be her shirt, the shadow of her shirt sleeve. It's hard to tell. Enormous plastic Dunkin' Donuts bag. Puts us in the 2000s. Hairstyle, kind of hard to tell. Also, you never know if you're in like Eastern Europe. They're still rocking like 70s hairstyles in contemporary photos. See horizontal striped shirts. I mean, they're, it's the camera quality and the fact that... Like, I don't know if this is just that I moved to... Vancouver in 2012 but I feel like in the last like 10 years people have gotten like a lot better dressed like, if you look at photos in the 90s people were dressing with drip but unintentionally and now people are dressing with drip intentionally they're wearing the same shit that they were wearing in 1991 but like on purpose I think this is like honestly I think this is 07 it just I, it gives off 07 vibes to me it's serving 07 I'll take 05 now this, that was pretty good. Got a gas station. We got what I would consider to be 1930s automobiles. Maybe this is in Switzerland. I'm going to say this is Switzerland 1937. I'll take that. Now this is interesting. I'm going to say that this is like the late 50s. That's what I'm thinking for now. Or early 60s. What makes me think that? We're seeing long neck bottles instead of stubby beer bottles. Everybody is smoking cigarettes. But they're probably telling like her that she shouldn't drink so much coffee. This is definitely an apre ski. For all I know, this could be in Whistler. I'm pretty sure this is Brady Kachuk. That's, that's Brady Kachuk this offseason. I'm gonna. This could be a, an older colorized photo, but I'm gonna say this is uh, 
1958. 1952, okay, I'm glad, because I was thinking about going a little older than that. It is, dude, I'm telling you, it's Brady Kachuk. Now, this feels like a black and white photo for, that's relatively more recent. Like, not, it's not 2000, but this could be like the early 80s or something. This is back in the day when no bags had rollers. Like, you ever see like an old movie where someone goes on like an airplane? All the suitcases were duffel bags. Whoever invented the, sorry, what I meant to say was, uh, whoever invented the rolling suitcase, I hope they're getting their dick sucked in heaven right now. Um, anyway, they might not be dead. That seems like a semi-recent invention. I'm going to go a little crazy. I'm going to say this is, I'm going to say this is 1978. 1973, okay. Oh, he didn't break 4,000, though. Oh, is this your best score? I think on Friday we had like a 4,200. This was pretty good, though. It makes up for some of the geography failures today. I don't know this immediately, but I think I'm going to get it. This is World of Warcraft. Metacritic score of 85. This shit looks like um, Bayonetta. It's a, oh, this is a Soul Calibur. How that, we've been through this. This is a PS3, Xbox 360. It's my, oh, you, it's a Soul Calibur 3, perhaps? It's a Soul Calibur 2, perhaps? It's a Soul Calibur 4, perhaps? There we go. <laughs> I knew it was it was Soul Calibur. Like that's not even a, a a contest. Average is four out of five today. Okay, I definitely feel like we got Harry Potter in here. Like wizard, teleport, chamber, wizard, chamber, merchants of death. Are they, are the Merchants of Death in, uh, oh, wait, 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 are they in, are the Merchants of, I'm thinking of Death Eaters. Okay, hang on. Um, Chamber of Secrets, but first, thank you, Smoking, and then we need something else. A Merchants of Death is from Thank You for Smoking. Yeah, 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 okay. And then, Chamber of Secrets with Wizards that Fly. Oh, we should have organized these differently. We got 10 swaps left. Diving, Fool's Island, Teleport Island, Gold. Gold Island, let me... Bridget Jones's Diary, Smoking Diary, Fool's, Fool's Island, Fool's Diving, Horror Island, The Island, The Fly, Horror Experiment, Chamber. What have, I think I used too many hot swaps, brother. I think I'm in trouble. No, I think I'm total. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? I got five swaps. The fly. Fly horror experiment. It's about teleportation. And then these two swap. And then we got three swaps left to find the extra space. I don't know what Fool's Gold 2008 is. Just to be honest. Horror Island? Or what about with Chamber Teleport? You experiment. It's uh, like uh, it's the prestige. Chamber Teleport. Fools. <laughs> I think I'm cooked on this one. Wait, my ass is stupid. In the prestige, spoilers for the prestige. You should really see it if you haven't seen it. The whole point is that the chamber doesn't fucking teleport them. Is that if they make a fucking another one? Oh. <laughs> I fell for the damn. I fell for the 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 turn. Anyway, I'm just gonna I'm gonna hot swap you and admit defeat. What's Solution. Give me the solution here. Fly, you fools, wizard. Fuck. 
I got prestige. Hugh Jackman, he got me. Of course it's Lord of the Rings. All right, this shit seems hard because I have never seen War Horse. But I, actually, maybe it's not that hard. War Horse to Leon the Professional? Um, I know that this has Jean Reno. I know it has Natalie Portman. I know it has Gary Oldman. So, I mean, to find one of those actors from a movie that was directed by Steven Spielberg should be pretty easy. At least it's not um, just Rachel McAdams was in both of these movies again. Okay, let me remind myself. Gary Oldman, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Gary Oldman, the Batman movies. Can we get to the Batman movies? Can we get to... He's been in a lot of ensembles. The Batman movies. Also star Christian Bale. The Batman movies. Also star... Heath Ledger. The Batman movies also star Cillian Murphy, who's got to be in a movie with this guy, but I don't know how to find it. The Batman movies also star Maggie Gyllenhaal. David Cross, dude, talk about a glow up. Eddie Marzan, he's been in everything, of course. I know this guy. This is Sir Davos. Pip Torrens. Okay, and then, so Batman movies via Gary Oldman. Natalie Portman, she's in Black Swan with Mila Kunis. She's in Star Wars with, um, well, okay, I'm sure you could go, uh, you know what, I gotta protect my pride. We go Tom Hiddleston to uh, Avengers to Samuel L. Jackson to Attack of the Clones to Natalie Portman to... Leon, the professional. Total distance of three. Ah, oh, she's just in Thor. <laughs> Wait, but is, is Samuel L. Jackson in Thor? Maybe he's, he's in the post credit scene where they say, like, welcome to the squad, Hulk, or something like that. She's in the first Avengers. Oh, Tom Hiddleston is. You don't need Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> a good point what happened to the no marvel rule oh, i stopped using uh or i i w stopped using marvel movies and then like my pads became like 11 things long and then all the 12 year olds in chat are like i just connected through infinity war so i said fuck you i'm gonna connect through infinity war too it's like the the mid cell meme is like idiot just use marvel just to have fun Genius, just use Marvel, just have fun. Eighty to one hundred and twenty IQ. No, you can't use Marvel. It would it makes it too easy. Oh, you know what? I haven't done uh hurtle yet. Even though it turns out hurtle is impossible for me. I don't know as much about hockey as I thought I did. Marvel is culture. Martin Scorsese says he apologized and said he was wrong. I was laughing. The one tweet I saw this weekend that was not either um, about legacy verifications or an April Fool's joke was like this quote tweet that was like a bunch of film students being mad that Martin Scorsese's new movie is four hours long and being like, Lord, give me the confidence of the people telling Martin Scorsese how to make movies when he's been making amazing movies for literally like 50 years and your ass hasn't done anything. No disrespect. I'm sure your GPA is high. I don't get like I I don't really care how long a movie is. I am surprised that everybody wants 72 minute long episodes of television shows for every single show they watch. But then when a movie's three hours, they're like, oh fuck off. Like you're asking watch eight episodes that are 72 minutes long for a show that's like a six out of ten. But then like one movie is three hours long, and you're like, when am I gonna go to the bathroom? Like just relax. Make some more 20 minute TV shows, man. Yes, because pacing is a thing. I also like all of my content to start with like a five minute recap of what happened on the last episode and then end with like an unresolved uh, cliffhanger that I go, oh, I wonder what's going to happen. And then I just let it autoplay. And then there's a five minute recap of what happened on the last episode. And then they tell me um, how the cliffhanger resolved. Actually, I just phoned them and it was OK because this isn't the season finale. If this wasn't the season finale, one of us would be dead, though, for sure. Okay, let me... 
right off the bat. I mean, every time I see a silhouette in my head, I'm like, this is Quinn Hughes, man. Start me off with a Quinn Hughes. Oh, he's, he's a West. He plays in the Pacific. He's not a defenseman, but he doesn't play for Vancouver, okay? And he's older, and he's not from the United States of America. Give me someone on... You know what? Why, why don't you give me Jared McCann? Let's get some Seattle Kraken representation. He's, uh, he is from Canada. He's not on Seattle. He plays left wing, and he's older. An older left wing that plays in the Pacific Division. Let's say that they play on... Wait, you know what? Give me a Jonathan Huberdo. They don't play for Calgary. They are, they're older. They're, it's, they're getting quite up there in age, quite frankly, at this point. Um, they're older than 29. They play as a left wing in the, in the Pacific. Let me get a, an Evander Kane. They're the same age, but born in an earlier month. <laughs> I don't know. It's, um, I don't know. Uh, they don't play for Edmonton, Vancouver, Seattle, or Calgary. Okay, you know what I'm thinking here? You got Los Angeles. You got Anaheim. And one more team, the Vegas Golden Knights. Could it be, I can't believe, Jonathan Marcheseau, there's no way he's older than 31, right? Let's send it anyway. Is it Jonathan Marcheseau? Oh, he's 32. Okay, but he plays right wing. He does not play for the Las Vegas Golden Knights, though. Okay, so like Los Angeles, here we go. Maybe it's um, uh, Iafolo. Could it be Alex Iafolo? Wait, no, actually, you know what? Take me back. Let me get a Martinez. Let me get an Alec Martinez. Oh, I forgot he plays on uh, Vegas now. But he is younger than 35, and now we know. Give me an eye of follow. I did not know Martinez plays defense. Okay, he does not play for Los Angeles. So that leaves Anaheim and... Uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. He plays for Edmonton. No, sorry, he plays for Anaheim. There's an old guy that plays for Anaheim. Did they trade for a veteran recently? Is, could this be a Zach... Where did Zach Parise go to? Yeah. Oh, is Andrew Agazzano? Agazzo, Agazzino? Oh, I forgot about San Jose. Not that I know. Who the hell is Andrew Agazzino? This is impossible, man. With God as my witness. I, I mean, I know this is like my fourth hurdle, and I've only gotten one. But... I, I've never heard of this man before in my life. But also, you would have to pay me money to watch a San Jose versus Vancouver game. This season, at least. So, No, this you know what? I'm just... <laughs> take, take me down. Andrew Agazino. I'm just going to look up his stats, okay? How's he doing this year? No disrespect, okay? Well, at first, I... I... <sighs> Bro, this is not... He's played four NHL games this year. One goal, one assist, three points. And then he's played 57 games on their AHL affiliate, the San Jose Barracuda. How, that's a nightmare difficulty guess. How is someone supposed to get that, man? That's crazy. <laughs> they should at least... Yeah, it should be a player that's dressed for like at least 20 games or something. That's impossible, man. That's true. He did get three points in four games and the Sharks sent him down. That's how you know they're committed to tanking. Thoughts on the new Moana, <laughs> Moana, Moana live action remake? Really? My thought is that I will start caring about the Disney remakes when the remakes start being good. It is early. Like, that's, um, I mean, Moana only came out, what, like 2018 or something? It's pretty quick. Moana's goaded, but like, I mean, it's weird. I, I, if I, I, my personal opinion is like, why, rather than watch the remake, I would just rather watch the original. You could at least have like some plausible deniability if you're like, oh, but the original is like old. Like you've watched The Little Mermaid a hundred times, but now see The Little Mermaid with like real actors and actresses. But then like, Moana's only five years old. 
How cl- we're, we're gonna be like at the point they should just release the animated movie and the remake concurrently, or maybe that like you, they should even play them in the same theater at the same time, and you just choose if you if you want to see the live action, you just go sit down. If you want to see the animation, you put on like some special polarized lenses, and it just shows you the <laughs> it shows you the animated version instead. I can't wait till Chat GPT three just makes the movie that I want to see. Like, as I'm watching it. Like, if I'm ever watching a movie... Like, I'm watching Inception, but it's chat GPT-4 enhanced. And then, like, at the end of the movie, when, um, like, Cobb spins the top, but then, like, the top doesn't fall over, I could be like, uh, chat GPT-4, can you uh, actually regenerate the ending but have the top uh, fall over? Can you make the movie better by, by adding... Um, a resolution that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy instead of leaving me with some ambiguity, which I'm not designed to handle. Excuse me, chat GPT-4, can you remake this movie but make all the Ghostbusters into men instead? <laughs> Dude, maybe Hollywood has had uh, chat GPT for like 10 years and that's why the movies I mean the Hollywood movies like the big ones have been so unoriginal chat GPT 2 please my studio's in trouble I need help just make a fucking Ghostbusters with the Stranger Things kid idiot just genius just use the exact plot of the original Ghostbusters but put Finn Wolfhard in it why didn't I think of that Chat GPT-3, my studio's in trouble, what should I do? Make three new Jurassic Park movies. How do you know his name? Oh, Finn Wolfhard. He's a, first off, it's a very idiosyncratic name. Secondly, he's a Vancouver legend. Show some respect. Did you watch She-Hulk? Nope. I haven't, I haven't seen a whole lot, honestly. It's not based, it's not sexist, I just... Uh, I, had, I mean, I haven't watched... I watched Physical 100. I know that was like a month and a half ago at this point. Physical 100 is perfect for me. I've, I've now regressed to the point where I will not... Uh, if a show, if their entire season comes out in one day, I'm just never going to see it. That's overwhelming for me. If the episodes come out once a week, I can be tricked into watching the first episode, and then it becomes like possibly part of my routine. And then I'll eat it like once a week i'll be like oh new physical 100 episode nom, 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 nom. but if instead you're like eight episodes came out on day one it's it's i'm not saying it's, it's a one-size-fits-all solution i'm just saying isn't that what all the marvel shows did yeah but the problem is that like wandavision was pretty good and then falcon and the winter soldier was detritus and then Loki was pretty good. And then I was like, the hit ratio is not good enough. So I, I bounced. Oh, you know what? I did, I did see Moon Knight. That's true. I watched Moon Knight and I didn't really like it. I thought they had like one really good episode and the rest of it was like kind of okay. And then the final episode was like insanely boring. I don't mean boring like people talked. I mean, it's like the worst kind of boring. It was just boring where people fight but not in like a cool way, just like like it wasn't even like a John Wick, like Moon Knight didn't even go like, he didn't even like, he was about to shoot a guy and then the guy like grabbed his hand and then put his finger over John Wick's trigger and went pew, 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 and fired all the shots into the air and then John Wick like ejected the mag and grabbed the mag with his other hand and went coo it like cracked his skull or something like that and then John Wick looks in the mag and he sees there's one bullet like jammed so he goes like, like then he puts it back in and shoots the guy's toe off and the guy was like oh! John Wick takes the gun and like puts it in his mouth and makes him bite down on the barrel so his teeth break or something like that anyway do you ever fished IRL? I'm happy to report that uh, I have I have fished IRL as a, as a child my grandpa was a Fisherman. I mean, oh, he, he was a hobbyist. His name was not John the Fisherman. I, I, uh, <laughs> I, see, I see your point, though. Um, whispers in the deep or whatever. I'm going to be, like, so afflicted with panic that it, I'm, I'm going to be eaten by um, a, a large fish. 
I got some problems, guys. Just dodge it. <laughs> we almost made it. Uh, so yeah, I've been fishing. I, I probably from I would say from age like three to fourteen, I went fishing. Maybe like four or five times a year. As a kid, I think fishing's kind of wasted on you as a kid, or at least it was wasted on me. I guess I can't speak for everybody. Like, your attention span is like... Wait, a, a, as like a little kid, you're not that stressed out. You're also not that patient. And like, your ass has no appreciation for serenity. You know? Like, it, no, no kid is ever like, Oh, like I'm five years old. You know what I'd really love to do right now? Is just sit in a chair. Go into a room of five-year-olds. They're all going like, Ah! Ah! Like, it's just like, they can't contain themselves. Now, I think I would really appreciate fishing. If I didn't catch any fish, like if I went outside and, and we were there for eight hours, I didn't catch any fish, I was just sitting in a boat with like someone whose company I enjoyed just casting out and, and reeling in. I think I, I think I would enjoy it. Yeah, same with hiking. I mean, literally, let, let me... At least I didn't take a hit point. Let me tell you, like, um, essentially how my weekend went. Saturday, woke up. Of course, we had the Peloton ride. Ate some breakfast. Took the baby out in the morning. Bought some macarons. Went to the library for story time. Went to a playground for, like, a while. Walked home. Had a good time. Uh, ate some lunch, took the baby out for a nap. She woke up early from her nap. We went back to the playground, took her home, watched Toy Story 4 on the couch. She watched like half of it and then like, well, like 50% of the time she was watching, 50% of the time she was like running around screaming. Um, and then basically like almost exactly the same thing yesterday, except we, we went to Hanam grocery store Ate some lunch, uh, ran some errands, went to the playground, watched Toy Story 4. She doesn't want it. We watched Toy Story 3. She does not like Toy Story 3. Toy Story 4, she's all about. Anytime I ask her what she wants to watch, she she only says Toy Story 4 now. It's She's finally hit the phase where like she watches movies, but she watches just the same movie over and over. She has the correct opinion. What do you? T Toy Story Four is fine, but like Toy Story Three is is amazing. One, two, and three are are goaded movies. They're both mid. They're literally made for kids. So like, if you're comparing this shit to like Bo is Afraid, obviously like as a 22 year old doomer, you're gonna love Bo is Afraid more than Toy Story Four. Keep keep Toy Story Four's name out of your mouth, okay? There's no Koyanis Katsi. So true, so true. <clears throat> yeah, they made a Toy Story 4. It came out uh, two years ago. I know it must be it must be pre-pandemic. I mean, if you want to take issue with something, take issue with Lightyear, man. Don't take issue with me. Don't take issue with Toy Story 4. Take issue with Lightyear. Anyone that saw Lightyear in theaters, like, you're on notice as far as I'm concerned. Is he still doing Peloton updates still? No, I'm moving that shit over to my fans league. I was thinking about it today in the pre-show. So many people were like, oh, I'm so excited for the Peloton update today. Then, like, one guy was like, um, how is he late every day when his bike doesn't even move? And I said, you know what? That shit's for, like, the four chatters that I've got on Peloton. I'm sorry, dude. You, you, you lost your... Maybe you don't care. Your ship is dashed to pieces. Load last save. All right, let's do that. You, you, you lost your chance. I'm like, why am I bringing up the Peloton every day? I mean, it's a little self-serving. I'll, I'll admit I'm bringing it up for like fitness updates. Maybe some people are interested. Maybe some people aren't. But then uh, at the same time, every time I bring it up, we just end up getting in like an argument about like, well, why not just buy like a real bike? And then I explain myself and they're like, I wasn't listening. So I'm like, no, this, you, we don't need to talk about it. That can, that can just be private for me and the, and the four chatters that have got me on Peloton. Why have I been saving every update for months? You, you, I mean, you got enough to make a video at that point then. 
I've got a very positive support system on the Peloton right now. I have one follower. Reed, are you here? Stand up and take a bow. I have one follower who uh, every day they do like an insane run. They'll run like um, for 90 minutes or something like that at, at a five minutes per kilometer pace. And then I, I know how it is because there's also like there's like uh, there's fast days and then there's long runs. So it's polarized training like um, like cycling. And then whenever I see that they've done a, uh, a workout, I give them a high five. Whenever they see that I've done a workout, they give me a high five. And we just got a little cross uh, high five pollination going on there. That's about the, the maximum amount of social networking that I want from a social media app at this stage in my life. I do not think Peloton should add like a boo. Although it would be funny. But you could only boo if somebody hasn't worked out in two days. Like you can't, if somebody did a workout and you didn't like their output, you can't be like boo. But if somebody hasn't worked out in two days, you can send a push notification to their phone that's like, get on the bike, dummy. I kind of don't miss Brotato. Listen, I'm not like a huge Brotato stan, the game that is. Like why, um, what, what happened that Brotato's catching a stray in the middle of Dredge here? We didn't, it didn't do anything. It's just like out of nowhere you were thinking of, you're like, hmm, I forgot how much I fucking hated Brotato. Like, that's psychotic. <laughs> you're, just, you're just being a hater. On a Monday. A hater on a Monday? On a, on a Wednesday, I could understand. But on a Monday, holy cow. You're, you should be rest, rested and refreshed if you're working the Monday to Friday 9 to 5. Monday is like... I wouldn't say Monday is a hateful day. I would say like... I, well, maybe it depends on your job. For me personally, Monday you should come back rested and refreshed. It's the freshest day you've ever got. It's like taking two days off and then doing a 30 minute pop punk ride. Like your legs should be moving real quick. Tuesday is like, I can't believe I gotta do four more days of this fucking shit, fuck. Ugh. And then like Friday is definitely like, oh, this is like the last day. So you feel good on, on Friday. Or you're starting to feel good. You're on the upslope. It's like the diff... Monday is like the autumn and it's warm, but it's getting cold. So it feels colder. And then Friday is like the spring. It's like they're the same temperature, but it feels different on the ascent versus the descent. I don't have the foresight to recharge over the weekend. I mean, that sounds like a personal... That's not Monday's fault. Why are you taking that shit out on Monday? If your ass is going through the ringer mentally and spiritually from 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, then Friday night to Sunday night, your ass is drinking like, you know, 12 double IPAs and waking up in the morning or like at 1 p.m. being like, oh, I feel like shit. And then doing it again the next night and waking up and be like, I feel like shit. Then being like, oh, I hate Monday so much. You did it. You did it to yourself, man. You can have like a couple and then go for a hike or something like that. It's probably even better that way. What's your thoughts on the start of the week being Sunday versus the start of week being Monday? I would say it depends on your... I mean, it's a matter of, of personal preference, I suppose. I My model for the start of the week is that it's Monday. I've just always thought, that, I mean, Monday, it seems like the start of something should be a switch from one mode to another. And the weekend switching into the week seems like, like a natural starting point for me. Also, I know this is not like mentally or realistically, it makes no difference, but mentally it makes a difference. A day off, five days on a day off, even though you get another day off right after that at the start of the next week. That seems like worse than five days on, two days off. Even though it's the, exactly the same and it's in exactly the same order. I think it's just like the difference, like if you worked, <laughs> you've ever worked like a job that you fucking hate that sucks. You start doing math where you're like, it's, it's copium math. 
you work nine to five, that's eight hours. Every hour is 12% of your workday. Every half hour is 6% of your workday. So like the first half hour that you're there, you go get a cup of coffee, you have your all hands meeting or whatever in the morning, your daily stand up, and you're like, holy shit, I only got 94% of my day left. But would you say I've got 94% left? That's like 100%. Or would you say, wow, I didn't do anything and I'm already 6% done. Then, once you cross like a certain mental threshold, you start to think about it in the inverted term. Like it, instead of thinking about, oh, I've done 70% of my day, you go, holy cow, 30% is left and every second it's getting even, it's getting even less. That's like the mental model for how I look at my week too. Yeah, that was pretty much teaching. <laughs> that was that was teaching for me although honestly the time f flies when you're teaching it's just like it also sucks or sucked for me I should say when I was a lifeguard we smoked so much weed to pass the time I'm gonna go ahead and say and this might not be like a popular oh, I didn't sell my fucking crabs bro I'm gonna say not based um, I know that might not be super popular um, but, like, people's lives are on the line. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I don't think it means that you, like, can't, uh, you know, lifeguard with some degree of skill. I mean, you're probably, you baked out of your mind, you're probably a better swimmer than me. I'm an okay swimmer, but, like, so true. My lifeguard is too cooked to save me from the current rip. Only do that if you check roller coasters for safely for safety. Excuse me, I... I, I told that story, A, in confidence. It's not me, the friend of mine who worked as the roller coaster. It's not roller coaster, it's like rides. That doesn't mean you can't be killed or have like a limb ripped off, but there is like, there's more than a semantic difference. Like this was not like, he was not neglecting to monitor the safety of like Superman Man of Steel that goes like, you know, 75 miles an hour and has a 89 degree drop in the middle. Like, this shit was like the scrambler. That being said, if a couple of bolts came off the scrambler, your ass is probably cooked. So maybe it's, it is a semantic difference now that I think about it. And at no point did I say it was okay. What makes it funny is that it's not okay. If it was okay, it wouldn't even be a story worth telling. It would just be my friend went to his job and did his job. Sam Yo passes you the booth. What do you do? I hit that shit for sure. Isaac Meta feels like a fever dream. It never happened. I assure you, uh, it happened. My ass did not spend 11 years recording Isaac episodes with no chat to banter off of. Uh, to just be told after like a year and a half of not doing them that it didn't happen. Your ass needs to work on your long-term memory. I paid my damn dues. <laughs> also, I would still be playing... People aren't ready for this conversation. I would still be fucking playing Isaac right now if it weren't for two things. One thing was that people stopped watching it. Another thing is that fucking... The, the game's balance is all messed up, man. Added a bunch of... They, there was subtraction via addition. It's your starter build for the new Path of Exile League. I would say this um, this league, you got to go heavy into Lightning. I don't know if you watched the developer's diary. It just came out seven seconds ago on YouTube. I've already watched it twice. Um, lightning magic has been buffed. It's a pretty, it's the biggest buff they've ever, hello. It's the biggest buff they've ever done in uh, Path of Exile history. They've given it a 0.75% DPS increase. Um, I'm a little worried that it's going to tip the balance completely on its head. Like, it's going to reinvent the meta completely. But I think for now, you got to take advantage of it. Like, if they give that to you, you got to take it. So I was trying to come up with like a... I'm gonna catch some fish, only got 20 lures in my pocket. I, I, I'm fishing, hunting for a conger eel. This is freaking, what's the word I'm looking for? Unsettling, something like that. 
I saw a broken salmon. I caught a broken salmon. Costco type returns. Dude, I had like a crisis on Sunday. I'm like such a perfect Costco shopper that like on Sunday, I ran out of jerky. I ran out of blueberries. I ran out of raspberries. I ran out of goldfish. I, I'm trying to think, but like literally everything that I get at Costco, it all ran out on the same day, but it was one day early. So yesterday I had, uh, I mean, I, I woke, I still had cereal. I've been eating a lot of cereal lately. How'd you survive? I bought, um, I, I went to the general store and I bought some goldfish. <laughs> just, just a little bit of methadone goldfish to get me through the day. And then I'm going to go to Costco tonight. And then it's just like supermarket sweep. I are sweep. I've got the whole set up there. I've got, I've got the grocery list all ready to go. Picked a bad Monday to go. I mean, the thing with Costco, like, it's always busy. I don't think... I get that it's like Easter this weekend. I'm sure Thursday will be like all fucked up, but... It's always busy. If you go on Saturday, you're like, it's busy. If you go on uh, Tuesday afternoon, it's busy. If you go right when it opens, maybe because the average person shopping is like over the age of 70, you might be able to just uh, like sprint to the front and then you could get it done a little faster. But I think it's just one of those grocery stores where you got to... Like there's stores where you're like, I need two things. I go in and get out. And then there's stores where you're like, I'm going to go through every aisle and it's going to take as long as it takes. And Costco is one of those. Do you find yourself trying to speed run Costco and getting stuck behind people who are using their shopping cart like a Ford F-150? No, actually, what I get annoyed by is the people trying to speed run Costco. It doesn't annoy me that you're not spending time in like my favorite store. What, what annoys me is that the aisles are like wide enough for two carts to make it through, one in each direction, but then your ass is like, no, I'm more important. So you try to squeeze your cart into the space between the two lanes. You're like, oh, I can't fucking wait 30 seconds to get to the croissants. I got to get there in 15 seconds instead. And you're like bumping into people and causing the other lane to have to like wait for you because you're mama's special boy. Like just follow the flow of traffic. When you get to the croissant exit, signal and shoulder check and then turn and then park your car safely in a place where like people aren't going to bump into it. We literally can't go any faster. The person in front of me is going as fast as I'm going. The person behind me is going as fast as I'm going. People walk so slow, I can't do it. You literally can You have like a modicum of self-control. It'll serve you well in so many different avenues of your life, not just in Costco. If you want to get into and out of a store quickly, don't go to Costco. It's, it's crowded. You know, people, are, everybody's got carts. They're swinging in all directions. Go to a different grocery store and then, you know, you can zip in and zip out. This is why you Instacart. You gotta, and I'm telling you this from a place of, of, I mean, maybe it's condescending, but I consider it to be like a place of, of, you know, love, but I think it's good advice. You gotta stop trying to solve everything. Not everything in life is like, you know, top 10 life hacks that you need for Costco. Here's a former Costco engineer gives you the perfect way to shop. You just fucking say, I'm going to go to the grocery store at 7. And you walk into the grocery store and you get the shit that you need and you get out when you're done. You don't have to, not everything is, you know, what's the most efficient way for me to do X and Y? Why? So you can get home and play like one more game of League of Legends? Stack up like 15 more games of League of Legends a, a, a week or something like that? Like it's not adding any value to your life either way. You're just, I'm not saying it takes away from it. I'm just saying like, you know, just stop and smell the roses a little bit. They've made you complacent. You're not doing anything with the time. Like, I'm, I'm admittedly, like, I'm projecting, but I also fully believe this. That's very true. It proves you can buy an executive membership, but you can't buy an executive mindset. <laughs> can I tell you a hot take on games? Like, as long as we're making people angry today. Can I tell you a hot take on games that will probably upset more people 
than any opinion on games I've ever had. Now, I want to start by saying, no matter what games you like playing, you're valid, okay? I'm not the one playing your games. You're playing your games. So just because I'm, what I'm about to say will offend like a thousand people, pr probably like 3,000 people, actually. Hang on, I'm beset on all sides by devilish crows. Um, I'm going to take a quick snooze like before we sell anything, just because I'm being haunted by uh, creatures from above here. Um... But you, if you actually like the thing that I'm about to insult, then you shouldn't be that insulted. Because you like it! That being said, if you have played more than 500 hours of Stardew Valley, I don't think we are digitally compatible. I don't think that, that you and I should ever recommend games to each other. Because I just don't think we, we have any common grounds. We can both, we can coexist, but we should never be like, oh, you should really play this, and you be like, I should really play this. I love Stardew. I was watching Apollo and, and Steve play Sun Valley, which is... Stardew. It's essentially, like, exactly the same game as Stardew. And I was just like... Sorry, Sun Haven. Sorry, Sun Haven. I was just like, just watching it, I was like, it's blowing my mind that there's people who have spent like a thousand hours plus in Stardew Valley. Just going. Like, it's just, I. There's not. There's actually nothing wrong. I, something is obviously wrong with me. Because it's probably, it might be the most beloved indie game of all time. And I've played maybe 40 hours of it. But the fact that there's people out there, like, I, after 100 hours, you're not like, I gotta do something else? Like... <laughs> Minecraft? Well, at least, like, in Minecraft, there's, like, some stakes, you know? I think what it is, is, is honestly, in my gaming world, I need a little bit of strife. The fact that there's no strife in Stardew is like... It, for me, it means that there's no stakes. I'm, I guess I'm about to get eaten again. Here it comes. No, maybe I'm okay. Oh, we meant Minecraft is the most beloved indie game. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that. I think that's probably true. But I think Stardew is like, it's close. Stardew is like a normie crossover hit. Not even close? We just should have sold like 5 million copies or something. What do you mean not even close? Probably sold more copies than the like entire Bayonetta franchise combined. Oh, you're, you can't say that. You can't say that. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's losing it. Minecraft sold 240 million. I literally just said, I'll give you Minecraft. Okay, we'll just keep it moving. Terraria might also be up there, but I feel like Terraria is like the, it's the gamer classic. And then Stardew is like the one where like also your cousin would be like, I don't really play video games. Or like when you go over, they'll be like, oh, you play games, right? What do you play? And you'll be like, I play a little of everything. They'll be like, I, I'm a gamer too. And then you look at their like Xbox and it's just 3,200 hours of Stardew Valley. It doesn't mean they're not a gamer, by the way. I'm just saying, there, there really do be people out there playing like literally like getting home from work and playing an hour of Stardew Valley a day for like six years straight. And it's, it's not, it's just a, like a personality difference. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying, I, I want my... I think it's, it's the same thing as, like, if I had to do a Venn diagram of people who loved playing Stardew Valley and people who hated Uncut Gems because it's, like, anxiety-inducing, I'm sure it's just a very, like, a two-pixel offset circle. Okay, that's true. All right, I brought him back, finally. I, I dug myself out of the hole a little bit. I want my games to induce a little bit of anxiety. Why are you talking about this? Because fucking, if I talk about anything else, people are like, oh, he's talking about the Peloton again. He's talking about Costco again. He's talking, oh, we heard this one before. They come up with something insane. You're like, why would you do this and say something that people disagree with? 
because I'm not a politics streamer. If I wanted to just get on here and farm money by saying shit that like people in my demographic agree with, I would just, you know, react to insane political headlines all day. Then people wouldn't be so mad at me. But instead, I got to say the truth about gaming. And all of a sudden, everybody's like, no, no, we don't like to hear the truth anymore. We don't like to hear the truth. This shit makes me sick. So I'm rallying back against it. Okay, today, I'm going to catch... I'm gonna... My ass is going to catch this fucking eel today. We've been playing this shit for like an hour. I thought we were gonna do the quest on the first day. Does the eel only come out at night? Yes. It's like, um... The Man-Eater from Hall & Oates' song, Man-Eater. It's like a, whoa, here it comes. Watch out, boys, they'll shock you up. Oh, here it comes. It's a conger eel. She only comes out at... Uh, conger eels? These are eels, brother! It could have been this easy the whole time. By the way, I think I actually nailed some. Is Apollo still here? I feel like I nailed some of the notes, man. You did? You know what I actually realized? I, I still 100% think I'm a bad singer. Full stop. But I think my main problem with singing before... Ah! <laughs> Not the eels! Not the eels! No, no, no. I think my main problem with singing before was that um, I sung too loud. I always went for like 100% volume. Now I just sing a little bit more quietly. It's a lot easier to like keep your pitch where you want it to be. I always remember I had a friend, he would always be the singer in rock band because he, he knew how to keep his pitch line like exactly right. And he would always sing like, like, you could barely hear him. But he nailed the notes according to the rock band microphone 100% of the time. Sorry, Chibli. Your message got flooded out here. What did, what did you say? Chibli's here. What's worse, 1,000 hours in Stardew or 500 hours in FIFA? You're, you're not going to like the answer. I probably shouldn't even answer. I mean, nothing's worse. What am I more likely to have fun with? 500 hours in FIFA, for sure. FIFA's like a roguelite. It's different every time. Sometimes I'm getting beaten by a Brazilian teenager. Sometimes I'm getting beaten by a Spanish teenager. Sometimes I'm beating uh, an American teenager. Sometimes I'm getting beaten by, like, an Argentinian teenager. Like, it's different every time. Excuse me, I'd like to speak to Ingfell resident. I've got a conger eel here. Please come back after it's had time to mature. Can't you just bury this shit in the ground? Like, I'm, I'm losing it, man. I'm losing it! Do you ever take cold showers? There must be some, like, TikTok trend I'm not familiar with, because we've been getting a lot of questions about cold showers lately. I, I don't take uh, cold showers. I, I, this is the thing, again, it's like... Listen, it might be I'm not a shower scientist. People are like so, <laughs> it's not, this is like too much of a Joe Rogan take. When you tell people to exercise, they're like, no, my heart only has a certain amount of beats and I don't want to waste it running. But then whenever you're like, oh, I take a, sh I sold my fucking eel. Whenever I take like one shower a day, people are like, showering is bad for you. I would never shower. And if I did, you could rest assured I wouldn't wash my fucking hair. Oh, you sit down on the toilet to poop? Don't you care about the health of your colon? You gotta dig a hole in the ground and hold onto a bar. Otherwise your ass will explode. Like they always, there's such a tendency to optimize for like the right or the, the wrong thing. And like, it's the opposite of keeping it simple, stupid. People are keeping their shit like way too complicated. Like admittedly, if, if a consensus of, of medical scientists were like, Please stop sitting down to poop. It's really bad for you. You should stand up. I would be like, okay, fair enough. I'm not a scientist. But whenever people are like, I saw this shit in People Magazine. I'm like, leave your house. <laughs> oh. 
Go for a walk. You'll be fine. And I don't know, like, people are so anti-shower these days. Like, it's okay to be stinky. I don't have a problem with that. But, like, stop taking out on those of us who are unstinking ourselves for the benefit of society. Like... I always think about this, like I spend five days on the internet, and if at, at the last day, like Friday afternoon, I'm eating lunch, and I'm scrolling through Twitter, and I'm like, the world is collapsing. I walk outside on Saturday, I go to the playground, I see people who disagree with each other getting along, I see them acting normal, I see them, their kid bumps into my kid, I say, oh, are you okay? They don't say, like, why are you talking to my kid? They go, oh, it's my kid's fault. And I say, no, it's okay. Kids are kids. We have, like, a nice conversation with a stranger. And I'm like, maybe the world's not so bad. I, I buy something from the store. Uh, the cashier says, how are you doing? I say, pretty good. How about you? They say, pretty good. There's a stark difference between, like, the way that it feels to, to be online these days and the way that it feels to be uh, in vivo. It's crazy. If I was, if I ask, I feel like if I asked a normal person, if I was like, what are your thoughts on showering? They'd be like, I'm for it. You ask on the internet, people are like, oh, here's like 17 TikTok sources about why you should only shower like when Mercury's in retrograde and never, the water temperature can't be over this much or it'll dry out your skin. And if you use soap, oh, you use soap? You use soap? Are you crazy? Soap? Soap in 2023? In 2022, soap, I could see it. We didn't know as much back then. But in 2023, soap, are you crazy? Do you hate your skin? Hang on, I'm going to go catch some eels here. Yeah, I would not ask them how they feel about bike lanes. I'm sure they would tell me some shit that would annoy me. They would probably be like, it's good that the Broadway bike lane got scuttled because cyclists can just use tent. And I'm like, well, then they should make tent cyclists only, okay? Then they should make 10th cyclists only. I don't want to bike on Broadway either. I don't want to get hit by a fucking TransLink bus. But they should at least make 10th more bike friendly. You ever tell the Costco cashier about your Peloton ride? No, but I do think that they have a mandate at Costco to... Chip, do you feel this? Like they have a banter mandate at Costco. Like they never just say like, Hi, how was your shopping today? Did you find everything you needed? They're always like, maybe it's because like we have a baby with us all the time, but they're always like, um, hey, I see you bought the brought the boss with you today. Ha <laughs> ha! I remember going on trips like that. Like we we get into some like real conversations. But I never have time to tell the cashier about my Peloton rides because honestly, the Costco. I don't know if it's the staff or like the infrastructure, but um, the Costco cashiers are crazy quick. They're, it's one of the few stores where I would say they're consistently waiting on me more than I'm waiting on them. I guess it's one of those places, you know, they never have to waste time being like, how are you going to pay? They already know. They look at me, they're like, he's not that old, so it's not cash. So like 100%, this is going to be a MasterCard. Costco only takes Visa? Tell me you're American without telling me you're American. In Canada, they only take MasterCard. Whoa, your country's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in Canada is like slightly weirder than what I've considered normal my whole life. Ooh! <laughs> the hell happened? Oh, because I overheated. I wasn't paying attention at all. <laughs> I do it. It's like 67 minutes. I haven't even completed the first quest yet. Come on, man. Little dial, little dial. <laughs> oh. Corpse Slime, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. My ass died in dredge just driving my boat. How embarrassing is that? Listen, I don't care if the eel quest is required, okay? It's just, I, I need a win. I need to know that uh, for once in my life I did something! I can't, I can't do it. I can't fit the eel. <laughs> Three and two. Three and two. I could catch one more eel. We just need to get some momentum. 
Oh, but we can't <laughs> rotate it like that. Fuck. I thought I could just do a, a transformation. All right, well, you know what? Here, you go repopulate the rest. Now get your haste out, but don't let yourself overflow. Oh! Don't let yourself overheat here. Man spends two hours doing side quests, asked to return to main quest. It's true, but hey, we, it's not like we did nothing. We did upgrade our engines quite considerably. Now, don't sell them. Just toss those in storage until they become aged. We did crash and die twice as well, that's true. You literally did one thing? Bro, you're like a... This is like when I take my daughter to the library and she's like playing with blocks by just like looking at the block and saying what's on it and then like a four-year-old comes over and is like, you're playing with them wrong. What do you mean you're playing with them? You, do you hear yourself? Dakota, do you hear yourself? You mean she's playing with them wrong? Always come over and they're like, that. those are blocks. We were building a train. What the hell are you even saying? I'm not gonna let them rot into nothing, okay? Because you're going to tell me when to take them out of the thing. So if I, <laughs> this is like the narcissist creed, is like if, if I make a mistake, it's your fault, okay? Hey, handsome, handsome. I'm sorry. We're, I look, I looked at Full Aces Tennis Simulator 2.0, and I was reading the update, and I was like, I honestly, I can't even. Chat, why would you do this? They're now rotting. They're not aged. They're rotting. Rotting is good. I like aged cheese. I don't like rotting. If I went to the store and they were like, hey, this is a Balderson seven-year rotting cheese, I would be like, no thanks, bozo. She wants rotting? Okay, then, we're, then everything's fine. And we're all okay. I don't know. I don't see why you guys are so upset. Couldn't find space for the item? Then, then you're as bad at this game as I am, honestly. It's a sad story. <laughs> I can do this. You look at me. Look at me. You can do this. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> I gotta reinstall this shit. It's gonna take four hours. This shit's gonna be like completely rotted to dust by the time I get. Oh! <laughs> she only needs one? She only needs one? Okay, hang on. I don't know how much time this dude's got left in him. Get out of here! Go, go, go! Oh, man. It's the wrong town! <laughs> Whatever, let me give him his crest real quick. <laughs> oh. Please. Here's the aged eel you asked for. We did it. $150. <laughs> That's like three fish, bro. I did that all over three fish. I could have caught three fish in a half second. You dredging? You know it, Josh. You know I'm dredging. I'm like mud gel and I'm so dredging. By the way, Josh, I'm ass at this game. <laughs> I'm like, I know you're like, how can you be ass at this game? I think it's the same way that I was ass at Stardew. It's like in Stardew, people, I would be like, how do I play this? People are like, it's fun, it's a vibe, just go hang out. And then, like, catch me, like, three hours into my co-op stream with Kate, people, like, got blood coming out of their eyes. You didn't give the brooch to Julia yet! Day four of begging NL to give the brooch to Julia. Oh my god, you missed the Harvest Festival, you gotta give her the autumnal necklace, you gotta wait a whole fucking year! You gotta wait, it's gonna be clogging up your inventory for a fucking year! 
This dude is Pog City. I hear that, Josh. I hear that. You're talking about me? Oh, never mind. Sure. Oh, <laughs> I was looking at Chad. I drove. Dude, fucked up my engine, drove to the wrong village. <laughs> I drove right into a fucking, what are they called? A water cyclone? I'm <laughs> so ass. A dredge, man. Ooh. And that's why you don't text and drive. Can I tell you so? This, this is not, I, and yeah, I mean, I'm bracing myself to get gaslit a little bit on this, but this is fine. How do physicists know that the universe is constantly expanding? I get that they looked at some shit with the Hubble telescope and they analyzed its wavelength and it was like red shifted, which means that it must be further away than we expected it to be or something. Like, I Listen, but like, but how do they know? Like, is it not possible that like the universe is just red in all a little bit red in all directions. <laughs> is it possible that we're in the least red part of the universe and then it just gets redder and redder the further away from Earth you get? Well, I'm just saying, like, you know, science. Isaac Newton back in the 1200s is like, I wonder what happens if you mix vinegar and baking soda. And then it goes like... And he's like, check it out, guys. Do it for yourself. And they're like, Shh. We no, it'll never make a volcano. Whoa, he's right. But like, how are we testing Stephen Hawking's like theories and shit like that? How, who's, who's verifying Albert? If you're the smartest person in the world, who gets to peer review you? A bunch of dummies. You can outsmart them. We don't know if that stuff's real. We need to get an outside observer. We need to take like a photo, like we need the universe to take like a selfie or something. But then like, I, I get they're having a reconciliation here, but we're talking about something real. When they say the universe is expanding, like what's expanding? Because the universe is everything that I can comprehend. Like my dumb ass cannot comprehend the universe existing in a medium outside of itself. Because everything that I comprehend is within the medium of the universe at, at the, the broadest level. So what the hell do you mean that it's expanding? The space itself is expanding? You're telling me like a meter today, if I measure something, it's a meter? If I measure it in a billion years, that same thing is going to be like 1.01 meters? What do you mean space is expanding? I'm not going to Google space inflation, okay? But if everything's expanding... Uh, okay, hear me out. <laughs> we say expanding. Is it expanding like blowing up a balloon? Or is it expanding like... We, like um, you got like a, a saltwater taffy and you're going... Also, yes. What the fuck are you talking about? So if we imagine ourselves at the center of the universe, as my parents imagined me, the edges of the universe in four dimensions around us are getting further away from us at all times. But our ass is not getting bigger. <laughs> Mine is. <laughs> Congrats, man. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I've Congrats. been in the Discord this whole time! Hey! hey! Scared the crap out of me, man. Oh, I forgot. I, uh, I downloaded the Chibli mod for Dredge, which is uh, whenever you do one thing in the game, Chibli says, Congrats, man. I kept getting served a tweet this weekend that was mental models that change the way you think about the world. And the first, it was like the thread emoji pointing down. And um, <clears throat> the first picture, I didn't open the thread. The first picture was a man on an island um, using wood to make a sign that said help. And he's just sitting there on the island pouting. Hmm. Mm, I'm trapped on this desert island. Mm. 
I made I made a help sign, but I'm trapped. And then the second image is him uh, using the wood instead to make a raft. Now, what they did not have was a third image where his dumb ass gets hit by, like, a big wave and fucking drowns in the ocean rather than patiently waiting for, like, somebody to possibly come to his island and find them. This shit drove me crazy, man. So true, I saw that tweet. <laughs> For everyone curious about the expansion of the universe, you should watch this guy's TED Talk. Could you just cliff notes it for me? Because, like, I don't want... It's, like, it's not that it's valueless information. It's just, like... We don't have a whole lot of time on planet Earth. That's not what the message said. Okay, it didn't say TED Talk. It said, like, Nobel Laureate Acceptance Speech or whatever. Like, I know what that means. Why ask them? Well, because I want, I want to have the information. I want to get the treasure, but I don't want to dig. I want you to give me the treasure. <laughs> I want you... It's, I, don't know what, I don't understand, man. Anytime anybody watches a video essay, they're always like, hey, I just watched a three-hour essay on, like, why we use a, a serpentine cue. Let me tell you about it. And I'm like, please don't. And they're like, too late. I already started typing. Then this time, I'm asking a genuine question from a place of curiosity, and people are like, I'm not going to tell you. You got to watch the video. I'm not going to tell you. Cyberbullying, man. Because this is not a forum for learning. We could change that. We could be like, we could be the world's first educational Twitch stream. That's <laughs> not, A, we can't do that. And B, we would not be the first. That's insulting. But we could be the first streamer to beat Dredge while being insanely bad at the game. Some, con some concepts are simply too complex for Twitch chat. Yes, but have you ever heard that you only truly understand something if you can explain it to a five-year-old? You ever eat monkfish? Is this another one where you try to accuse me of uh, I'm eating like an endangered species or something? Listen, I did. I had Chilean sea bass when I lived in Korea. And then I was like, oh, Chilean sea bass is so tasty. And everybody was like, there's like eight left in, on the entire planet. And I was like, well, the, why the hell are they all being sold at this little restaurant in my neighborhood in Daegu, South Korea? I can't be expected to know the state of every species of food on the planet. I will say, Chilean sea bass, though, if they ever stop being endangered, you should really, like, eat them. Because they're really good. It's probably one of the reasons they started going extinct in the first place, if I had to guess. But also, you can have barramundi instead. Barramundi's like pretty close. They're not endangered. Let's go! Any recent daycare anecdotes? Not really. Except um, every day I pick up my daughter from daycare. Um, the daycare provider appears to be, I don't want to say like frustrated. But she's, I think she's over my daughter's routine at this point. Because every time I pick her up, I'm always like, oh, how was it today? And there's a little bit of a language barrier. She thinks that we have a cat called uh, Lucas, but is actually called Ruka. And she's like, you know, every day, uh, Lucas this, Lucas that. What does Lucas say? Meow, meow. What does Lucas eat? Cat food every day. Lucas this. And I'm like, I know. One time she was like, you know, who's, who's this Lucas? Lucas. And I was like, Lucas? I don't know. And then she's like, every day uh, your daughter talks about Lucas. Lucas. Lucas say meow. And I was like, oh, we have a cat called Ruka. But then I think it, for some reason it's just stuck as Lucas. But I, honestly, it's funny for me. So I, I'm not going to correct her. I mean, she's had a long day, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Who am I to disagree? 
The lighthouse keeper is waiting for you. I saw you sailing towards the horizon. Do you think that's wise? Mind your own business? Abruptly, she walks away. Literally waited here for like 40 days just to like backseat me. And then I said, mm, says you. Her ass slinked away in the damn shadows. Skill difference. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure she's got warnings from a life well lived or whatever. Okay, let's go to this tiny island then. To the northwest. To the northwest, you say. I'm familiar with the northwest. I live in the northwest. It's west, it's to the north, it's the northwest. Although it's in Canada, in Canadian terms, I live in the southeast. Wait, no, I live in the southwest. Best, most uh, Canadian with the best direction sense. OMG, he does. Where do you live? I live in the southwest. Oh, really? Like Arizona? No, Vancouver. <laughs> Where are you going? I got way too many Lamaus. Hello. I'm a, I'm a fisherman. It's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help. I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost at the interior of the basin, but I was attacked. Lady! I'll do this for you, but you have to explain to me how we know that the universe is expanding. And don't be saying any stupid stuff about how, oh, like, background radiation keeps rising, because I don't know what that means, okay? It's just, if you, if I held on to both ends of the universe, would my arms get ripped off of my torso? Put it in terms I can understand. We told you? I don't understand how the, what do you mean the distance between things is getting larger? Because, like, the distance between me and my monitor is not getting larger. Or if it is, it's doing so at such an imperceptibly slow rate that, like, the universe would not be expanding. <laughs> it is? I thought it was expanding, like, super fast. It's expanding, like, like continental drift or something? Like a millimeter a year? Is that light speed? The further away you get, the fa the further away from me that the universe gets, the faster it expands. You telling me my ass is character number one in the universe? What the they discovered this shit before I was even born? What are you talking about? Albert Einstein's like in fifty years, somebody's gonna get born. That is, he's. he's Let's assume the frame of reference such as this person born in 1988. It doesn't make any sense, man. <laughs> From every person's perspective? What if you put me on the edge of the universe? If you cloned me and put me at the edge of the universe, you're telling me both of them, it would be... Ex the me where it's expanding at its slowest point would also be expanding faster than the me at the edge of the universe, who's now at its slowest point as well? What? There's no edge? Okay, I'm like, I know that you're right, but what is that? How can there be no edge, man? How can there be no edge? There is? There is, isn't? What do you... <laughs> There's no center? I thought I was the center. It just keeps... It, we're moving the goalposts, man. First of all, through God, all things are possible. <laughs> I don't get it, man. Did you see the post? Okay, so like I know that this has been all of Edge today, although at least we did make it to a new island. I was laughing so hard, there was a tweet from a shitpost account that was like, let me get this straight. I eat like bread, lettuce, tomato, beef in a salad and it's healthy, but I put it all on a bun and it's unhealthy. The top reply to it made me lose my mind. It was, of course, a Twitter Blue subscriber, no disrespect. But they said, yes, food is made of chemicals. 
and sometimes chemicals can have a reaction with each other. It's the basis of nutrition. They literally, motherfucker thought when you put beef in between two pieces of bread, there's a chemical reaction that makes it bad for you. And then someone replied and said, that's not how it works at all. It's actually just that like bread and beef and cheese are not that good for you. They're like things you should eat in moderation. And they said, no, that's how it works. It might not be like the main reason that is bad for you, but it's one of the reasons. Yep. So true. It was one of the, the most, and I'd say this as somebody who's been, you know, maybe trolling a little bit here. But, um, it was one of the most insane things I have ever seen. That's actually why you can't leave Twitter. Like, I'm not addicted to, like, getting angry. I am addicted to seeing, like, every day I see a new thing that's like, this is the stupidest shit I've ever seen in my life. I feel so much better about myself reading that. And then also just seeing it and being like, A, I'm smarter than this person, which, at least in this domain, which feels great. But then there's like 70 motherfuckers click the like button on that shit. They're even dumber than the person who wrote it in the first place. Nothing makes me feel smarter than, than the fact that it's like, I'm getting a one up on like 70 people in one single passage of reading text. I remember the cooking at home is classes discourse. I, I vaguely remember that one. We did have some discussions about whether I'm the nasty one for not washing my chicken. Oh, we don't need to get into that. <laughs> and uh, the lady who was talking about seasoning and she was like, you know, when most people talk about seasoning, they're just talking about salt. You don't have to dump, like, a bunch of powder on top of all your food. You could literally just cut up the herbs and then put those on top instead. People came for her ass big time. And deservedly so. Not because she was wrong, but because she posted something on the internet. So, like, what did you expect? Is alien sci-fi or horror? I'll be honest with you, I think, like, movie Twitter is actually, like, one of the most psychotic parts of Twitter. In, in, in its entirety. Politics Twitter is pretty bad, but... There's people on Twitter, like, their whole life is just dedicated, like, every day they post, like, I love Encanto. It's not a bad movie by any stretch of the imagination. I just can't imagine, like, arguing about Encanto every day for, like, 11 months straight like I would I just couldn't I don't have the fortitude I think I think I couldn't handle it. You ever say anything not your ass discounting in Canto what the, I haven't even seen it I've heard all the songs a thousand times, but Okay, hang on. Let me see. I'll slash marker this slash marker dredge apologies to the, the YouTube viewers who are begging for real dredge gameplay, but <laughs> Couldn't be me um let me see if my wife is ready to stream. Hello. Are you ready to stream? Smiley face. But if you have like a Bo is Afraid account, then I'm okay with that. I'll, go, I'll see that when it comes to... That doesn't seem like it's going to come to Netflix. That seems like it's probably going to come to like Amazon Prime Video for rent like three months after it comes out in theaters. Do you understand the universe now? You know what I understood is I'm just gonna trust the science, man. That's what I understand about the universe. My ass is gonna stay here on my little, um, my data point, and I'm gonna hold everything close because the universe is trying to pull it apart every day. How does that, the harder the universe pulls, the, the harder I'm gonna squeeze to keep it within my grasp. All right, let me, I'll send you over to my wife's stream. But apparently that shit will rip my arms off because the universe is expanding at the speed of light. Oh, 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 except never mind, because close to me it's not expanding at the speed of light. Close to me is almost imperceptible. But like another part of the universe, you haven't heard of it. She goes to school in Canada. She's expanding at, at uh, an asymptotal mathematical value approaching the speed of light. Fucking dude. 
What do they expect us to believe this? I think, like, uh, that's the thing. The thing is that the Rumble first supercut will never happen. It's like waiting for the next Game of the Throne volume. It's like, oh, just just wait until the the, the, the next Game of the Throne volume, please. Ugh. But then it just like, it just will never happen. The Isaac super cut? <laughs> Wait, why would anyone want that? Why would anyone Isaac super cut? Not enough Isaac content. <laughs> I need more. I bet people who have not watched all the Isaac video are the ones saying, I need more Isaac videos. If you possibly, for some reason, watch the whole, every single Isaac video that has ever uploaded on Northern Lion channel, that itself, like, requires some kind of, like, achievement, some kind of, like, a trophy. Do you count sleep watching? That's not- I don't count that. I cannot believe Origin actually watched 95% of Isaac videos. That's- that's crazy. You know, sometimes when we used to go to, um... When we used to attend those, uh... Conventions, like video game conventions and whatnot. Um, sometimes we'll meet our fans and then they'll be like oh my gosh are you the real northern lion oh my gosh i'm i'm a huge fan and then if they go remember that episode 568 of afterbirth plus you said this but it's actually it's this or like if you just mention like you know any episode number of isaac like you would be surprised but not, should, not to mention myself, but Ryan will not know a single clue of what you're talking about. And you'll be like, but he's the one who made all the videos. Yes, I know, but there is so much of it. Yeah, if you go like um, in Isaac episode 2306, at 5 minute and 8 seconds into the episode, you missed the Tinted Rock. If you actually blew up that and had the Tinted Rock, I also played the, the same seed. So I know exactly what item you would have gotten. And it would have been 2 uh, Blue Heart. And that would have gotten you through the whole end of the game. And you would have been able to finish the game. And you would have been able to protect the streak. But you actually didn't blow up the Tinted Rock so that ruined your uh, streak. Like, if you, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure you're all, like, you know, hyped up, fandom, like, you know, I understand. But I'm just, all I'm saying is that we would not have a single clue of what you're talking about. We will just smile and, we'll, we'll smile and nudge, and then we'll be like, thank you for watching our content, thank you. But, like, deep down, we're like, man, I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> However, if you measure the pot play, it will kill you on this one. Wait, I actually don't know what pot play is. I know people keep saying pot play, pot play. Is the pot play the the guy, little baby that lifts up the pot and throws the pot? This is... Hold on. Here. Keep in mind, you know, the other thing is when you get a million and one percent starting from... Rebirth, you tackle a lot of the stuff en route to getting a thousand and one percent, en route to getting Golden God, even etc. etc. Um, whereas, ooh, I mean, nah, I'm torn. I definitely want Small Rock, but we might need more HP to make it happen with 0 0.98 speed. I'm not sure yet. I still don't not get the pop play. Move, all things considered, but 
Anyway, I'm just saying, you know, a lot of the stuff that you do by accident, or at least, like, passively without even noticing, you have to do actively when you're unlocking it all on the, you know, the final version of the game, if you will. Although we do still have a booster pack coming, I think. I don't know. Why is it still... Anyway, this run starts... Very Why good. is this video two minutes about long? Of fire. It's Completely talking about nothing about pop play. I'm just gonna level with you. First off, that was bad damage. The boomerang, I think, is kind of a trash tier item, but there's some utility involved with it that could be decent. Quarter from our first item room is also not bad. Penny for your thoughts, a quarter for the call and all your father's love. You ever listen to the Wilkinsons? Probably not. I don't know. They, they were like a Canadian What's happening, country man? trio. That had a couple of big what songs. What the frig is happening? In the late 1990s. <laughs> they were mostly well known in my geographic region. What is going they were from, on? They were like Belleville, Ontario. So they were pretty close to my hometown. It's Why is the... We're scenario. halfway of this video. The Wilkinsons, don't forget about them. Even though I just mentioned them. Uh, I'm going to try this. I don't know why I would prefer to re-roll that, but... Yeah, especially now that there's no Spirit Heart available. It doesn't seem so smart anymore. Um, Spirit Heart, please, so I can get Small Rock. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Not good. Then another Spirit Heart, please. A uh, little, little risky, but... There we go. So I actually totally am okay with this, so we can get the Small Rock. Um, Excellent. Please. <laughs> um... Avril Lavigne from Greater Dabney, <laughs> Ontario, you know? What Mark the hell's like happening, said, dude? Fort Downey the Tragically Hip. Maybe other Tragically Hip members? I'm not actually aware. What? That's the whole video? He wanted to get the item, and instead of using a bomb to blow up the pot to get it, he spends all his money to get Spirit Heart to step on the spikes instead. That's called pot play? Why is that called pot play? Cause it's like, it's protecting the pot? Cause the right play was blowing up the pot. This end is, uh, this end is good. I was... Wondering why he didn't get the bomb and didn't blow up the pot, but then that's just like That's just Ryan. I've been living with him for 11 years Is it 12 years? 11 years 11 years It's like I don't I don't even need to question Why why do this when you can do that? You know he told me as a uh, uh, yesterday, he told me what he dreamt of. And it was... In my mind, it was one of the... <laughs> very Ryan moment. Um, he said... Uh, so I had a dream. And I wanted to wall mount a TV in my office. But then I didn't want to buy a new office. I, mean, I didn't want to buy a new TV. And then Luna said... Just use the old TV instead. And then I went like, oh, she's so right. And ba that was basically the dream that I had. Is it what Ryan said? And I was like, wait, why would, why would Luna say that to you? <laughs> would she say that to you? If anything, I would say that to you. And then he's like, I don't know. But in the dream, I was like, damn, she's right. He, he does not need or want to hang up a tv in his office i'm pretty sure but i guess just it's just a dream and like dream him wanted to but then he didn't want to buy a new tv <laughs> i was like i thought it was so stupid i'm just like just buy a new tv what's the what's the problem and he's like oh, i don't want to buy a new tv and then like apparently the solution was we don't even have a an old tv we don't have a tv just lying around doing nothing but apparently the dream luna said i uh, just used the old tv and then ryan was like oh my gosh she's so right <laughs> i was like that's that's very much like you 
I mean, you know, I know it's your dream, but it's like, that's so, like, that's so you. There's, there's no way that Ryan actually wants TV mounted in his room. That is just not gonna happen. Maybe he might have thought of like, oh man, that would be nice. Maybe. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> it's just not. <laughs> Thinking about mounting one in the video clip? Oh. Wait, huh? What the heck is video clip? Like, just put it on top of the peloton or something? This video? You can just catch my ass at the... I'll, I'll just be in here listening to some music. I was thinking about getting a... Uh, mounting a TV up on the wall over here. <laughs> and then I could like watch movies because these rides are getting fucking long, dude. I mean, it's like 90, 80, 90 minutes every day. That would at least help me take in some culture, but then I also have to get out our cordless drill, which is like, this is a pretty big cost. And I guess I gotta buy the flat screen, but the flat screen is like, you know, I don't know, $25 these days. <laughs> Normal. I'm just telling you, it's just never gonna happen. <laughs> I'm just telling you, this that that ain't happening at all. Him, he, he's just killing time. Probably before the dream, because it was yesterday that he told me the dream. So it was. It was after he said it. What about the One Direction, that song that's like, If you like smoking Zaza in a hotel room, If you prefer to vacuum rather than use a broom, If you like using Google Meet cause you can't stand Zoom, Baby, I'm perfect. To the star right now. Something like that. <laughs> 